It's what JonTron is known for now. You know what's crazy? I say this every time we talk about JonTron. <sighs> but it's crazy that JonTron still uploads. Like once every two or three months, he'll upload a video and it'll be like, JonTron reacts to a VHS he found in his basement. And it's like the, uh, the Crystal Light 1996 World Championships. And he'll be like, wow, that's crazy. And it'll get like 4 million views. And no one I know will ever speak about it. Like, are there people who are like, oh, God, you got to check out this JonTron guy. He really takes the 1996 Crystal Light World Championships down a freaking peg. <coughs> it's weird. <clears throat> like, despite the fact that the videos put up insane numbers, they just don't permeate culture. It's very strange. It's just Armenians. <laughs> CJ, how are you going to show up and that's going to be the first thing you say today? Uh, I should time you out for that, but I won't because I know you want to be around for freaks today. JonTron has never been the same since he told Destiny he hates black people or whatever. I did like that for like three years, there was like an... Uh, uh, just in the background of people's mind, this perpetual drama cycle about Game Grumps, all foisted by, like, what was it that caused JonTron to leave suddenly in the middle of the night? And then when that interview went up, it was like, oh, I think we can probably guess. Like, I remember people being like, JonTron punched Aaron's wife, and then they heard the, the racist thing, and it was like, oh, he was probably, he probably just said something insane. <laughs> oh, we got to talk about Latinos love coming. Yeah, we're probably far enough in that I'm not going to get demonetized on the VOD upload. Let me tell you, when that guy said the Latinos love to come inside, that was not news to me. I lived with Danny, okay? But <laughs> now we'll get to that. We'll get to that. Oh, my God. What an insane week. Ugh. I am convinced now more than ever that the United States election is being run by two people who took out huge, unbelievable uh, bets against themselves. I've never seen two people throw like this. Um, but before I get into anything relative to freaks, anything relative to anyone else, uh, we need to talk long and hard about this sandwich. Are you guys familiar with James Beard's famous onion sandwich? I'm gonna do that. Hi, I'm Jacques Pepin, and I'm cooking at home. So this has been psyoped onto my homepage. I have gotten like five different uh, videos that are all about this sandwich. Many I years ago, <laughs> I went in New York. So okay, so here's the, this is an onion I've sandwich. It it's a tea and, sandwich. Uh, it's a round sandwich. You it. cut with a cutter or a, it's not very, uh, you know, a, a glass. But I can still. <clears throat> so then what you do is you take a whole bunch of mayonnaise and you put it on one side. You uh, take a whole bunch of mayonnaise, you put it on the other side. Probably then you put a slice of sweet food, onion on it. Then you put salt of on top of that. Of bread. Then you put the two together like an you Uncrustable. You fill in the middle like a whoopie pie outside. with more mayo. And you roll it parsley. in fresh yeah. parsley or chives. All right? This sounds insane, right? Well, what if I told you I have the sandwich with me right here? And that I've made it myself. And let me tell you this. It's delicious. <laughs> it's it's so strange. It doesn't seem like it would be even remotely good. It seems like it seems like it would be so bad. It's so good. I've had one of these a day for the entire week. <laughs> mm. Mm. The tang of the onion, the fresh parsley, the brioche, the mayo, it all, it tastes so good. It tastes like summer. Mm. Mm. Mm.
Why is your background so dark? <laughs> it heard I was eating the mayo sandwich and it was like, we can't be white. All right, let me see if I can. Hey, camera. I know you can do this. White balance correctly, you piece of shit. There we go. Nope. <clears throat> nope, that's back the way it was. Let me just turn it off and turn it back on. I, nope, it's just going to be like that. It's the white shirt. I think it is. What if I get off the screen? Oh, so now you can see the background. I come on the screen and it goes, no, turn that shit down. Look at that. Turn that shit down. Mmm. I'm too white. What if I turn this up? That made it darker. Ugh. Mm. Mm. Fuck that sandwich was good. Mm. Anyway, I've been living off these things for about a week. Mm. Ugh. Ugh. Increase the ISO? No. Not live. I think it really is the shirt. All right. Settle. It is the shirt. <clears throat> Regrettably, there's nothing I can do about the shirt. I am going to wear it. Take the shirt off? Yeah. Good idea. You understand if I take the shirt off, that will make it whiter, not less white. Anyway, I'm having a good day today. I had a really bad weekend um, in terms of, uh, like, locals. <coughs> I went to locals on Saturday and Sunday, uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! and then Elestrals, and I did really bad both times. Um, uh, ooh. This past, uh, I went to, uh, when I went to Yu-Gi-Oh! locals, I got the buy round one, and getting the buy round one at a Yu-Gi-Oh! local is like, th there's just a voice in your head that when you get it, you go, I gotta leave. I gotta leave. Um, and, uh, so, I, but I stuck around, um, and I played round two, I played against Exodi that, uh, Millennium deck. Uh, real quick, I want to recommend that deck to anyone who's like, I need like a cheap deck that's easy to play, like the anti-meta deck of the format. It's that. That deck is so, <coughs> so easy. Um, but I played very poorly against it game one and lost. I don't think I was supposed to be in that game, but I, I was. Uh, but I wasn't. And then in game two, I just did combo. And then game three, uh, my opponent had shifter. And I made a really strange play. I've been thinking about this play all, all weekend because um, I had to have the read that my opponent was, like I was never winning if my opponent played correctly, right? So I had to have the read that either my opponent would pay, play incorrectly in one of two ways. Either they would misapply their own stuff on their turn or they would misapply their own, or um, they would uh, misunderstand my stuff on my turn. And I put them on the my stuff on my turn, and unfortunately, uh, it was like, I had like, the hand was Bonfire, uh, Diabell Star, uh, <coughs> Called by the Grave, um, Deception, uh, Harpy's Feather Duster. And they set three. They were floodgates. And I was like, so I need the Harpy's Feather Duster to resolve. So game one, they negated Bonfire when I activated it. So I'm like, if I activate Bonfire, they negate it. But then I HFD and I'm still under Shifter. 
I draw a guy for turn. It's a droll. So I'm like, I can set that and live a turn if they don't onk again. So... Man opens greatest hand ever made. I'm going second, if that helps. Uh, <clears throat> so I end up leading Deception. And I go Deception Effect, Pitch to your Star. They let it resolve, knowing that the Hallowed Azamina has to send to Grave. And then I have to go Bonfire, which they negate, and Harpy's Feather Duster. But then they get to chain Fires of Exod, which destroys the Deception, preventing me from getting back into the game on turn three, right? So if I just hadn't deceptioned at all, I could theoretically still be in the game. But I'm never supposed to be in the game because I set the droll and pass, and I know they have heart in hand. And so they go heart, I go called by, and they let it resolve, fearing the unknown set, but they know the unknown set is hallowed as Amina. So it's it's hard to get a handle on. <clears throat> it's like, if they played perfectly, I was not supposed to be in that game, but I had to have a read on in what direction they would play imperfectly. Do you know what I'm on do you know what I'm talking about? That's like a type of, of read that is really hard for me to get still. Um, it's, uh, it's of course, a, a, a position that I'd like to uh, improve on. Soul reads? I guess it's sort of like that. Um, but what else? Uh, then I played against um, Unchained. It's fun. Uh, we did, we did uh, Charmy Wars. I love doing Charmy Wars. And then I played against uh, at X1... Uh, two one. Um, this person who had entered the tournament with the explicit intention of facing me. He didn't like the goblin deck that I had won locals with like six months ago and had been in the lab on a goblin brew since and showed up to play me with the goblin deck. And I was like, one, incredible. Uh, two, <clears throat> it was for nothing. It was like we were both two one, so it was like neither of us had any a chance of... Uh, winning the local, so, you know, whatever. I lose the die roll, and he wins game one, I win game two. Game three, uh, the the goblin deck just takes a 15 minute turn one. That's the unfortunate truth. And I didn't feel comfortable being like, hurry up, because there was nothing on the line. I don't give a shit. Uh, but I did have the ability to crack the board, but you know, there was still a lot of game to play. It's unclear as to whether, I, I could get to like the Desiree Promethean part of the combo, but it's unclear as to whether that wins the game against what my opponent had set up. So it, it was it was going to be interesting, but I, I don't play a time card because of locals, and uh, we just didn't get to see it. But I've been thinking about that goblin list. We ended up drawing. I've been thinking about that goblin list ever since because the, he was doing some really interesting stuff basically on the back of exactly... <clears throat> Doesn't Azamina have a built-in time effect? What do you mean? Oh, you mean the the... Uh, the continuous? Yes, uh, if your opponent plays into it, it does. But my opponent went first, and then it was me. So I go deception, and he pops the deception, right? <coughs> anyway, I wasn't playing like a sprint or something. Uh, <coughs> so, um, it was a weird position. Uh, he ends up going... Normal, like, goblin stuff for the first half of the combo. But then, the target for the goblin rota uh, is scrap goblin. You, you familiar with that? So what they do is, they go scrap goblin, summon him off the detach, and then sink him and gone wild for... Uh, Charles. And then they link off Charles for Link Charles. Equip the Link Charles, right? And I'm like, oh, this is a cool way to get Spell Trap Negation in a deck that historically has a big problem with it, right? And so I'm like, that's sick, that's sick. And he goes, but wait, there's more. They also play both targets for the Xyz Armor Fortress because you can quick equip the uh the rank up magic equip spell which procs charles's effect to pop it was so sexy i was like oh i was like okay you you are kind of pilling me on that 
And it helps that it helps that the rest of the deck is like so smooth now. Like you don't have to play any of that dog shit that we were playing in the past. You don't have to play tour guide. Like you can just play three dog and then one a piece of two individual goblins and then like terror tops. Like you don't have to play any Ziamen, none of that shit. Um, and so the the end board was like wouldn't it be easier to make Nat Beast? I think he was doing it under the assumption that in post-board games, I'm going to be boarding into cards that beat cards like Nat Beast, right? Dark Rulers and shit like that. I guess Dark Ruler still wins, but, <clears throat> you know. Um, but the concept is like, the end board ends up being Gabonga, Xyz Armor Fortress, La Virtue, and Charles. And so it's like a really diversified end board. I really liked it. I, I, it is causing me to, I just took apart Goblin to take another think at it. I'm like, maybe I should be playing Goblin. Uh, and for what it's worth, I, this person was also making considerations based on price. Looking at the, um, the result from this last weekend with that, the, the guy from Japan who said tier, tier limit strongest, um, looking at the result from that guy's 3v3 team who went like undefeated all playing Goblins, I was like, this deck might be like pretty crazy. Like, I don't know. It seems not bad. <coughs> so I, I am gonna I am gonna get back in the lab on goblins. To the person who who had something to prove, had to cut their teeth against me, it worked. Congratulations. I am now pilled once again. And then the next day I went to a Lestral's locals, and I had been itching to play this wind box deck that I've been practicing. And I show up and I realize I have a long box that has three decks in it. And I didn't bring the wind one. And so I had to play snowman again. And I just went 2-2 on snowman because I didn't want to fucking play fives. And it was just an, it was an experience. <sighs> Impulse destroys it, though. I mean, does it? Right? Like, does it? Windbox is ass. I've told you this. Windbox is fine. I But I didn't bring it is the problem. Boring play Thunderburn. Half the fucking local was on Thunderburn. I I just can't bring myself to go to locals every week and play a deck with Astrabbit Elichick in it. It just doesn't feel right. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Is five so good it's choking out the Elestral's meta? Not at all. It, it no, it's just boring. Like I think probably the best deck in Elestral's right now is Unk. Is a uh, like Thunder with main deck Archaliths, I think is probably the best strategy. But, I don't know. How many are at your Lestrals locals these days? We usually get about 16, but this weekend we did not get like any. It was a nine person local and I was like, fuck me, dude. People had places to be. It was a bad weekend to do it. They almost didn't. Would you ever do a Lestral's deck reviews from viewers? Oh, that seems like a fun thing to do. Yeah, maybe I'll do that. <clears throat> Ball up top. Yeah, no, Unk is crazy. Unk's unbelievable. And the thing is, I kept I kept dying to Unk 2 in Snowmen. Because the thesis for Snowmen is you can never beat like a 7 attacker every turn. Uh, but it turns out like if you go Moralith, like slam down Moralith mill 5. Uh, and you don't play back row because like what are they going to do? Uh, they draw, they go unk, and then they go equip three, hit you for four over Moralith, and you go, I guess I lose. Like, our, our critters crash, but I'm taking four, so I lose. <coughs> <Ugh. Is Elestral's reasonably priced for someone who wants to get into it? Well, let's find out. Did they do it yet? They haven't. Where the fuck is Elestral's? <laughs> so it was kind of leaked, soft leaked, that the 28th was the day they were going to do Elestral's. Uh, and then it's the 28th, and where is it? Uh, I was told by someone who knows that they are like back end stuff is going up as we speak, but I, I guess they're just not done with it. You know, we'll see. You were going, there's this super expensive card. It's $15. Yeah. The most expensive card in the set or in the format is Lavalith, which is 15 bucks. 
do some Earl fishing. I'm not going to do that, but let's just say that if you do that, you will reap rewards. I can add them to my inventory. I know. I know. The seller side is up. Yeah. <clears throat> they just got to press publish. What's sorcery? Sorcery is for people who are like, wasn't magic good in exactly 1993? And to be honest, that's a pretty compelling pitch. Especially this week. Light. Let there be light. Let there be light. <coughs> I don't know. The pre-modern hater. The problem is I need there to be a modern that's like cards printed from 2009 to 2013. Fucking, can you please just get the lighting right, please? Oh, I'm going to get killed by Dyer. She's going to be like, I'm not editing all these videos where you're in the fucking dark. <sighs> Maybe if I do this. Well, she's going to have to. I you know, what what's the what's the alternative? There really isn't one. Yeah. Ready? Huh? Oh. What if I do this? <clears throat> can it can Elgato do this? It cannot. It's trying very hard to. Okay, let's see if this did anything. Frozen ass man. Yeah. I need to, what I need to do is hang my, uh, my lighting. Woo. But I haven't. Yeah, that looks like shit, dog. That looks fucking terrible. Look at that. It looks awful. I didn't want that. Oh my god. Elgato is the greatest software of all time. Oh, okay, hold up. Oh, it was there for a second. Alright, good. Let's go back. <clears throat> I don't know. I like auto white balance, <coughs> but it does cause stupid shit to happen for sure. Your video is frozen. Wait, are you sure? Wait, I don't think that's true. All right. We're just going to live in, in the darkness, I suppose. I'll zoom in a little. Come here. Come here, asshole. There we go. <clears throat> Has no one showed you how to use the camera in manual mode? Yes, they have. I just don't want to do it midstream. You know what I mean? <clears throat> it freezes sometimes. <sighs> but then you never do it. What do you mean? Oh, like do it off stream? No, I have no problem. The camera for filmed videos off stream is fine. The problem I'm having is is for videos that I film on camera. Look how light that is. But what if I do this? Look, now it's perfect. Now keep the background. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm hmm. All right, I'll just never move again. I will just never move again. <clears throat> All right, you guys ready for freaks? Do you not own a lamp? You people, okay. I gotta stop reading chat. You people don't know what's going on here. You don't understand. I have two hugely bright lights pointed directly at my face. The problem isn't the amount of light. The problem is the white balance the camera is performing. I have it set on auto because I'm right next to a window where the sun goes down over the course of the stream and I don't want to be constantly fiddling with the manual white balance. You know what? Let's just do fucking Twitter freaks. Twitter freaks. Oh, why'd you go and say that? Twitter freaks. The website was a mistake, yeah. Twitter freaks. Let's do Twitter freaks. Listen, this week is going to go down in history as one of the greatest Twitter freaks in the history of time. Are you prepared uh, for what we have to say today? Let's begin at the beginning. With this very important video I found. Can I just get a medium? Do you have big buckets strong, of soup? Can I just get, sorry, can I just get a medium strong? I've got a, a bucket of soup. <laughs> sorry? We don't have oat milk. Oh, that's problem. all right. Can I just get, oh. can I just get, um. Do you have any soup? Stop, Jake. I'm so sorry. Um, and can I just get. Just a big bucket of soup would be <laughs> nice. Jake, I'm so sorry. Jake, can you actually stop? It's embarrassing. Um, can I. This is like so me coded. This is like, I saw this and I was like. Ah, there are MBTs everywhere for those with the eyes to see. Can I just get a big bucket of soup? <laughs> oh my god, it's so good. This is actually very embarrassing. He just wanted a big bucket of soup. What's the fucking problem? Next up, I kept getting a bunch of Bible stuff this week. First up is this ad for Bible Chat. This is the Bible Chat app. Is sexting a sin? Let's watch. Is sexting a sin? I feel like I haven't gotten an answer. Is it? Is it? Uh, I love the concept of just hooking chat GPT up to the Bible and being like, that's it. That's <laughs> our last prophet, chat GPT. Oh, man. And would you believe that uh, we, we have more stupid Bible shit? Found this book at the park and it's full of stuff about feet. You, a Christian girl's guide to growing up. All right. Let's see what Christian girls should be doing. Let's scroll down. Got God? Hands are one thing, but why would God care about your feet? Nobody can see them most of the time, so when it comes right down to it, why should you care that much about it either? Actually, God's talked about feet all the time in the Bible. Mostly they use them as symbols, in spite of their smelliness and fuzz between the toes, which just goes to show that God can use anybody and anything. Good, good, good. Let's see what else we got. What has been your most embarrassing foot moment? Hmm. I, uh... I would prefer not to answer. Um, let's see what else. What names would you give your toes? Uh... I don't, uh... I don't... Uh... Can you find one more foot verse in the Bible? <laughs> Please! <laughs> Let's see what else we go. Here the author takes a uh, brief break from talking about feet to talk about breasts. Whenever I put God and breast together in the same sentence, many women look at me and say, okay, seriously, God thinks about that? Uh, yeah, God created them after all. As far as we can tell, God cr gave women breasts for a couple of reasons. One, God sculpted women to be attractive to men so the guys would, oh my God. <clears throat> I don't like it, but people found, unfortunately, the other works by this author, and uh, let's just say there is a running theme in these books. Oh, boy, oh, boy. And finally, um, ah, come on, Flip Flops, Faith, and Friends. Ooh, this is a situation, man. This is a situation. Wow, how many, how many fucking, 
What is going on? How many foot-related books has she written? Okay, this one at least doesn't have feet in it, but uh, it's a little freaky otherwise. All right. At least we, we can all... What's it called? We can all get together and, and help with uh, Lily the Rebel. Hey, not gonna lie, I've been struggling a lot, and I need a car to get to work at school, which I've been missing a lot. My parents are poor, I really want to help them out, but I don't want to ask them for a car, so I was going to ask for a loan of $3,000. I got an agreement and everything, we can sign up, and you can charge interest rates of 100%. Think of it as an investment. Appreciate you. Much love, brother. Really? You'll let me perform usury? Oh, <laughs> wow. Do go on. <laughs> okay, next up, next up. Uh, okay, one final Jesus-related thing for tonight. Uh, the Vatican has unveiled the official mascot of the Holy Year 2025. Luce, Italian for light. Archbishop Fischiella says the mascot was inspired by the church's desire to live even within the pop culture so beloved by our youth. Okay, there's just a lot going on here. Um, <clears throat> I oh boy. Uh, first and foremost, um, you named it Loose. You couldn't think of a different name. No, it it's no, it's it's Italian for light. Last name Bringer. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Second, oh boy, all the comments are like tradcath nazis with like the same pfp that are like haha epic this is so cool um and there are some people in the responses uh who are like uh uh this is an idol okay asshole yes it's an idol first day encountering catholicism the whole fucking thing is idols they just you know they, they make them every couple of weeks it's no big deal it's just a, it's a little bit of idols Oh man, it's so good, man. It's so good. I love the uh the like nine thousand year old archbishop. Like God, I hope this works. We got to get these kids back in. Right now, the only kids that are interested in Catholicism are like making like dark maga edits. <laughs> like we got we got to get some normal people in. Uh, let me just tell you right now, Vatican. This will not get normal people in. I'm sorry. Okay. Next up. All right, let's get to the election. Election is next Tuesday, folks. It is only eight short days away. First and foremost, Nevada, Vice President Harris predicted to win. Wow. Already? That's crazy. I, that's, Im that's impressive. Uh, I, I don't know if you've been seeing these. I've been getting ads like this every single day for months. And I keep being like, now... I don't think that she has. I think perhaps that the election hasn't happened yet. And if you scroll down, finally I have had it explained to me. If you scroll down, this is not a poll or a survey. It's an astrological forecast. <laughs> that is correct. This is not like a polling resource. It is a Vedic astrologer who uses their powers to predict who will win each individual state. That's good. <coughs> That's good, I believe. Oh. oh, wow. Only only $999 for a general consultation. New stream goal. New stream goal. About as credible as Nate Silver. Okay, well, yes. Next up. <laughs> so, Stephen A. Smith went on Hannity. And I'm sorry. He just... Uh, epic political debaters are just completely unprepared for what happens in the field of sports argumentation. Like the reason that people like Stephen A. Smith don't become pundits is because it's beneath them. They could wash everyone out in an afternoon. Have you seen this video? It's fucking unbelievable. Let me see if I could 
uh, find it real quick. Uh, of course I can't. Go on YouTube.com. <clears throat> is there like a... I'm tr let me see if I can scroll to find the specific moment. I'm trying to find him doing the face. Say, that's my yes. point. She is. But, she knew. She out. knew he was a cognitive mess, and now she's lying. Oh no! I never noticed it. It's a because clock. Sean. It's a lie. Because Sean, what Just you're trying to it's because, a lie. because what people. But because what? Uh, listen, I personally uh, listen. I, a year earlier, I was saying there's slippage. There's something that ain't there. He ain't gonna make it to the election. Y'all better get with the program. No. Do something about it. I was on the record about Joe Biden, but I'm not a part but of the Biden what administration. And if I was a part of the Biden administration, I wouldn't have told you that. <laughs> That's number one. Number two, she's the candidate but now. You, know you got to run against her. Are you gonna beat her, Sean? Are you gonna beat her? Are you gonna? Are. are you gonna beat her? He's he's unbeatable. I I don't know what to say. I'm sorry. Like. Like you should shouldn't have, shouldn't have brought him on. Are you up. confident it's straight that up. Trump, the American people? Are you as confident as you were months the ago? The biggest choice are you election confident you in a lifetime. Months ago? I but see I some was, slippage on his part. Stephen A. <laughs> Jesus Christ, he's oh god, he's he is the yapping master. He's he's a little too good. Um, I don't know why. I don't know why anyone brought him on. It was like it was never not going to do this. <clears throat> All right, next up. Okay, <laughs> so. We've we found out that that Kamala Harris's biggest strength in this election is the power of Vedic astrology, right? Hey Gage, how you doing? Uh, but don't worry, Donald Trump has a very impressive closing finish as well. Uh, let's talk about what happened today. So uh, last night, late last night, Trump uh, had a rally at Madison Square Garden. I think they what are they going to flip New York? Uh, I guess they're just doing it as a send up to the Nazi rally that was like a hundred years ago or whatever. Uh, but they brought. <laughs> They brought a bunch of speakers who ranged from, like, Mike Lindell-style crack addicts uh, to, like, Vivek Ramaswamy crack addicts. And my favorite character of the night was the guy from Kill Tony. You familiar with this guy? So I, I think, you know, far be it for me, I'm not the first to have said this, uh, but Alex Jones was right. Uh, back in the late 90s when he was the forefront of keep Austin weird. Um, Austin needed to be kept weird. Now it is Mecca for Silicon Valley freaks and people trying to get on the Kill Tony show. <laughs> and uh, <laughs> uh, I, as an Austin native myself, um, this guy... If, if you're unfamiliar with his podcast, what he does is he lets other people have a minute at the mic and he just does that. It's like dual taining, but like with like uh, like bad insult comics. So <clears throat> here's um here's his own set. Here's his own material. Let's uh, let's check this out. A lot going on. Like, I don't know if you guys know this, but there's literally a floating island of garbage in the middle of the ocean right now. Yeah, I think it's called Puerto Rico. Okay. All right. Okay. We're getting there. Again, normally I don't follow the national anthem, everybody. Uh oh, man. Rough crowd. Rough crowd. I, that's crazy. I would think this crowd might be into it. But that one's really weird because, one, you're in New York. And, two, like, what's the goal there? <laughs> like, uh, Puerto Rico votes. <laughs> you know? It's not like... Oh, man. It's so good. <laughs> He's doing Renfair fucking juggler crowd work. This is like something you would expect from Jacques the Whipper. Yeah, there's a big freaking uh, island of trash. I think they call it Staten Island. You know, but, you know, they, they had to add a, a Latino twist. There's some more from this guy. He rocks so much, dude. Heck yeah. Cool black guy with a thing on his head. What the hell is that? A lampshade? Look at this guy. Oh, my goodness. Wow. I'm just kidding. That's one of my buddies. He had a Halloween party last night. We had fun. We carved watermelons together. It was awesome. Sick. <laughs> really good stuff. Incredibly good stuff.
Uh, and then the third one, this is my absolute favorite. This one is so good. If you haven't heard this and you think you know what it's going to be about, you're absolutely wrong. Believe it or not, people, I welcome migrants to the United States of America with open arms. And by open arms, I mean like this. <laughs> oh, that's, that's pretty funny. Surely that's the end of the joke. <laughs> it's wild. And these Latinos, they love making babies, too. Just know that. They do. They do. There's no pulling out. They don't do that. They come inside, just like they did to our country. <laughs> it's so good, dude. It's incredible. Yeah, dude. So <clears throat> I got a tight five. We're going to do uh, Black People of Watermelons. We're going to do uh, Puerto Rico is Garbage. Uh, and then we're going to do a little bit of a breeding theory. Just going to make some great replacement style riffs. <laughs> oh, my God. This is like some shit I would say on Will uh, about like, you know, Danny coming in me or something. I mean, how hard would that be? But holy shit. It's so good, dude. It's incredible. Um, and the rest of the rally had about this cadence. So I, all day, all that's been trending is America's Hitler referring to both the fact that this is reminiscent of a Nazi rally held in Madison square garden in the thirties and comments by JD Vance, now vice president to Donald Trump in which he called Donald Trump America's Hitler. And then kill Tony's been trending all day too. Great, great news for the pod. Yeah, come on. Will dude, we'd love to have you. Do you have the Hulk Hogan clip? No. No, I don't. I don't have the Hulk Hogan clip. Uh, CJ, I literally can't play this clip. Oh, wait, never mind. Uh, this is not the clip I thought it was. Instead, it says, uh, I opened for him about five years ago, and before the show, the booker walked into the green room, looked at Tony, and asked, you gonna be funny this time? Tony got incredibly mad, then walked on stage and bombed. That's what we love to see, baby. <laughs> Next up. All right. <clears throat> this one's good. Uh, Who would want to have these things? Who would want to have? There's so many. The transgender operations. Yep. Where they're allowed to take your child. Yep. When he goes to school and turn him into a male. Are they doing that? Holy shit. Wait a minute. I got to say, you know. Congratulations to Trump. I, I I have been on the fence about Kamala, but now that I know that he's coming out against, you know, the pedagogical reinforcement of cis heteronormativity, I gotta say, I am I am feeling it. I'm feeling it. I mean, I don't understand why this is even that like controversial. Like, you you are allowed to tra like transition from male into male. To a female? Oh, never mind. <laughs> He's just got dementia. Next up. Okay. If you thought that the Kill Tony guy going up and being like, Latinos, am I right? Was going to be the worst shit you saw today from this rally. We've got a much, much worse one for you. Elon Musk at it again. He's got, he's got some freaking good ones, Lois. Uh, this is the intro. Ready? I'm not just MAGA. I'm dog gothic maga cool good stuff man we'd love to hear it oh we're 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 so happy to see it uh okay we got another one we got another one this is about this is like mid-speech Uh, let's see it again. Let's see one more time. Yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. Uh, let's, uh, we got another one. We got another one. Here we go. Yeah. USA, 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 USA. Oh! How do you fuck up the USA chant? It's the easiest chant in the whole world. Come on. 
USA, USA, ha! Yes. Yes. Let's hear one more time. Yeah. USA, 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 ha! Ha! Yes. Yes. <laughs> oh, he's so good uh it's good dude it's awesome it's like it's fa i i swear i swear they are both trying to throw man i swear like kamala has like just been completely absent for three months and then she shows up and she's like we have to be more responsive to the needs and wants and the beliefs of the community thank you and then they're like oh yeah you think you're gonna lose this shit uh, bring in the racist comic. He's going to do a set with Elon Musk. Man, I don't know. It's, uh, I, I swear they are just living on predict it. Vance's response to the kill Tony jokes is so funny. Oh, what has he got? Now, I, I didn't, I, I've heard about the joke. I haven't actually seen the joke that you mentioned, but I think that it's telling that Kamala Harris's closing message is essentially that all of Donald Trump's voters are Nazis and you should get really pissed off about a comedian telling a joke. That is not the message of a winning campaign. And most importantly, it's not the message of- It's true, the, the message of a winning campaign is those Latinos are breeding too much. Person who's fit to be the president of the United States of America. I. And, and, and my own view on this is, look, again, I haven't seen the joke. I, I you know, that maybe, me. maybe it's a stupid racist joke, as you said. Maybe it's not. I haven't seen it. I'm not going to comment on the specifics of the joke. Jesus Christ, man. But I think that we have to stop getting so offended at every little thing in the United States of America. I'm just. It's very true. It's very true. We should be allowed to do just a little bit. Just a little bit. <sighs> <laughs> it's so good, man. And of course, you know, the, the capstone to this is the entire thing was in fact predicted by smiling friends. That's done. We can finally eradicate all the Puerto Ricans on the planet. Yeah! What do you say? What? I mean, make everyone on the planet frown. Oh, yeah! How'd they do it? <laughs> it's unbelievable. It's like a year back. <laughs> How the fuck did they do it? Oh my God. His same reaction too. The wait, wait, what? What do you say? Huh? What do you say? <laughs> oh man, good stuff. All right, let's just uh, come back to very stupid people. First up, I don't understand why car insurance isn't like a retirement fund or a savings account. Like, if I never get into an accident, I'm literally just giving you thousands for no reason. I can't take a little out for a paint job or for my check engine light. I have to wait to get hit. Yes. I. What? I... Insurance isn't a. Isn't a savings account. HSA for cars would go hard, though. He's actually kind of spitting. No. Uh uh. <laughs> They're dumb, but also fuck insurance. It is bad that insurance exists in such a way that they intend to deny you every claim that you make. But also, the whole thing only works if people who aren't getting hit regularly pay into it. Right? I'm sorry. MBT is an insurance cell? No, no, no. I'm just detailing the fundamental truth of insurance, which is how it works. <clears throat> okay, moving on. Okay, so this is a Milwaukee uh, mall uh, revitalization project. So every mall in the Midwest is destroyed now and there's nothing in it. So what they've done is they've turned them into apartments and the, they have double-loaded each corridor with a fake storefront to make it feel like a mall, 
but it's really like an outward facing study for each individual apartment. All right. Fuck you. This was my idea. I have had this idea for the longest. I, I'm so mad that they fucking did this. This is my plan. My, my idea was, here's what you do. As uh, these places in America that are functionally just completely paved over start to succumb to the effects of global warming, it's really important to have indoor spaces that people can live in so they can survive. And so you take these old malls and you turn them into retirement homes and individual storefronts can be sectioned off into apartments for old people. The whole thing is walkable so they can get exercise and you can put all the shit they need in the old storefronts too. You can put like the pharmacy, you can put a movie theater, you can put in like a, a, a cafeteria, game rooms. The infrastructure for it is all there. I came up with this idea and they stole it. Fuck you. This was, this was, this was my idea. It was my idea. Mm. MBT just invented assisted living facilities. No, I, the invention is putting them into the shell of dead malls. You should have just accrued enough capital to do this. Damn. You're right. You're correct. <laughs> my bad. Next up. These are cool, though. I, I like the concept. It's like, as I age, I would actually... This would be, like, a really nice place to live, I feel like. Look, they, they even have tennis courts down there. Next up. Till death to they part sealed the deal for me. Not accepted they pronouns. They tried squeezing in there. And I'll bet others aren't either. Movie was overrated anyway. <laughs> I mean, this is literally just this bit, right? For the last time, Parker, our pronouns are they, them. Not because we are non-binary, but because we are literally two niggas. Right? Like that it's literally that <laughs> they just are like no it's it's uh they're non-binary next up <clears throat> can they say it by the way probably venom can say it i don't think that eddie can say it <coughs> eddie can say it he has the pass okay that's fine all right At projared.bluesky.social. Fuck it. It's gooning hours. Tell or show me whatever is getting you riled up tonight. If you saw me accidentally post a spicy selfie almost completely naked on here, <laughs> no, you didn't. I love that he's like this man. Like, if you asked me who the funniest, like, the angry NES gamer type person to be like this would be, I think Pro Jared would be the literal number one pick every single time. It's so good. It's not real. No! No. It's fake. I'm ending it. I could have checked, but I didn't want to go to Blue Sky. Ugh. Fuck it. It's gooning out. That fresh haircut feeling. The fact that I was real, that I thought it was real, says a lot about society. Next up. All right. It's Talk Tua time. Let's check in on Talk Tua. I think Helen Keller is not real. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Because yeah. you're telling that. me this bitch is blonde and deaf and they let her fly a fucking plane. Right no. a book. A plane? She's getting That's a, Amelia she's Earhart. Getting a, yeah, she's I thought Helen Keller flew a fucking plane. Amelia really? Earhart. <laughs> I love her. <laughs> she's so good. She's so good. Um, I will say also uh, Helen Keller is fake 
is like such a TikTok engineered uh, conspiracy theory. Like there is no evidence that it, it was fake except like, come on. And it, it's completely spread through people's FYP. It's crazy. Next up. This is very true. I would say like 80% of ethnic groups are exactly the same. And everybody pretends, like everyone's like, oh, we're always late. We eat a lot. We have <laughs> totally. killed. And it's like, that is everyone but wasps, I think. Yeah. This is quite literally the last third of my current hour is like, <laughs> oh, yeah. that, is that like everyone is the same because everyone, and everyone says they value family and food and they right. think they invented yeah. family. And, <laughs> yeah, like, yeah, we yeah. just like to get together. <laughs> and it's it's not just family, actually. It's relatives, like yeah, yeah, relatives. Yeah, yeah. You know, a guy I thought was my uncle wasn't even yeah, related wasn't to me. Even. It's like, yeah. Yeah, most people are like that. Or people are like, you know, we call her an auntie. I'm like, I'm familiar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I do think that is probably just how how much like wasp culture yes. is like dominant in. But yes. it's like that's they are the outlier. Literally 100%. everyone else on Earth behaves the exact same way. I like it, folks. We like it. Um, I just sort of assume that uncle and aunt isn't a title that's given to people who are related to you. It's a title given to like people your family likes, you know. <clears throat> what is wasp? White Anglo-Saxon Protestant. Next up. Okay. This shit's up again. I love this post. Lean is a drug. You didn't know? I'm sorry that drugs aren't something I actively look into. If you ruin perfectly good Sprite with cough syrup, you get no bitches. Uh, it's so good. It's true. It's very true. It's literally true. It's true. So uh, we're doing a little bit of racism for the next like 10, 15 minutes. Um, people don't get why this is white. It's not about not knowing lean is a drug. It's about how they join trends or use language from black and minority cultures, then act surprised or dismissive when they find out the real meaning. It's embarrassing. Uh, I'll agree with you um, at Braxio on most of this. I want to push back on one little portion of this tweet, which is... Um, it is also white because she doesn't know lean is a drug. How do you not know that? What are you, stupid? Don't you participate in popular culture? Come on. Next up. Oh, this is so true. I'm going to let this replay because at the very beginning you can hear him squeaking a little. Good stuff. Next up. Okay. I'm going to talk about this despite the fact that it's definitely a bad idea to do so. Okay, so. In case you missed it. I told you we're do we are literally doing racism. Okay, so last night, a popular uh, VTuber debuted a new outfit and then was almost instantaneously banned by Twitch and then posted a series of tweets that were like, uh, what the heck? Why did Twitch ban me? Uh, I was in pools and hot tubs. Uh, I had a bikini, but when I toggled it on, I would put water in the background. What's going on? All the responses are like, because Twitch has two categories of toss. Those for VTubers and those not for VTubers. Look at this. And then they'll post uh, like a woman in the pools and uh, hot tubs category who's wearing a bikini. All right. <clears throat> I don't know who was the first one to figure it out. And to whoever it is, you're a genius. But this is the fastest way to get trending, if you're a VTuber, is to flagrantly violate 
Twitch's terms of service and then be like, guess I was banned because I'm because the Twitch mods are racist against 2D characters. It a, a, an actual genius level intellectual move. Um, if you watch the video of this person uh, doing it, what she does is she's like, here's the bikini and look at the jiggle physics, zooms in on the boobs. Someone subs. She goes, thanks for the sub, bounces the boobies around, gets a, a whole lot of under boob in there. And then she goes, and look, the legs jiggle too, Whoop, down to the legs here and like shuffles the thing around enough that they all like jiggle and shit clip. I can't play the clip. Would you like to know why? Because that's against the terms of service. Even within the pools and hot tubs category, you're not allowed to show under boob. You're not allowed to do a bunch of hip shit. You're not allowed to show off jiggle physics, right? But that didn't prevent people from immediately upon this happening, posting real women who were in a bikini and being like, oh, but this is okay. I hate to be like this. And Twitch, they're not going to like that I say this. They're not going to like that I say this, Twitch. But guess what? I don't give a heck. When something like this happens, be reasonable. Your problem is not with Twitch's selective enforcement of the terms of service. They're enforcing a terms of service that was communicated with you. Your problem is with the capital T terms of service. It's with the fact that the terms of service outline a series of behaviors that you feel entitled to perform that you're not allowed to. That's fine. But be honest. Be like the terms of service are too restrictive. They're ridiculous. The fact that they police our behavior in this way is authoritarian. Why do you have to bring into it another woman? Why does another woman this is what they always do. They go to the hot tubs and pool strategy and pick out a random 15 viewer Andy in a bikini and they go, but this is okay. Your enemy is not the other women in the hot tubs and pools category. It's Twitch. Your enemy is Twitch. Uh, I don't know. Not to make this a solidarity thing, but like, Jesus Christ, you're both in the same category doing the same thing. You don't understand where the problem is. It's with the toss you signed. Ugh. I don't know. It's just like, it really irks me that when something like this happens, the first impulse is to take another woman and rub their face in it instead of being like, I should be permitted to do this. Like this huge disingenuous thing where you're like, oh, you know, uh, they, they have uh, two sets of rules. One that says I can't flash my pussy on stream. And the other that says if you're a meat streamer, you can perform oral sex for free. I don't know why it isn't just Twitch's toss is too restrictive. And the last thing I will say on this topic is if you are a Twitch streamer, who intends to uh, become a Twitch partner. Before you sign partnership, you should read the document you're about to sign. Listen, I'm not a lawyer, but this is legal advice. Before you sign a contract, you really should read it. It may take you like an hour, but keep in mind what you are doing is signing away your ability to do certain things on a platform, a platform you intend to monetize. Please read what you are signing. If you have a problem with what you are signing, communicate it to the person you are signing it with. If you think it is being enforced incorrectly, your problem is with the other party in the contract, not with randos who have their own contracts that you assume are the same. I don't know. I just, I don't know. I, it, it really irked me seeing this yesterday and watching all the responses to this because the responses were universally not about like, fuck the TOS. They were like, fuck Twitch being selective with other women and just post after post after post of whoever was currently in the hot tubs and pools category. And I was like, come on, there's no way that you need to be hunting for scapegoats uh, in the like list of other women trying to do the same thing you're doing. Your enemy is Twitch. Act like it. 
Next up. <clears throat> Yu-Gi-Oh time. Okay. I will be honest with you. <sighs> when I heard that um, Max and Sefisel was going to be the new face of the quarter century bonanza. You know, I hadn't planned on purchasing any product, but now I think I've got to. Not, Ma uh, not Max and Max and Sefessel. Who is this? Max and... Not Maxine Donne Fervel. He's got almost a million followers on Instagram. Let's go. He's got a fucking Wikipedia. Uh, oh my God. Okay. This is what you like to see when you click a uh, Wikipedia. Uh, for someone is, this article is a stub, and then the references are longer than the article. Okay, what have we got? He is best known for the role of Elio Damary in the TV series Scam France. Uh, he started modeling in 2015, uh, and in 2016, he joined the Actors Factory. Then in 2021, he starred as Tom Riddle. Oh, shit. Wait, that's crazy. In the House of Gaunt, Lord Voldemort Origins, a fan film. Wait, hold up. Sorry, what you mean here is a YouTube video, right? All right, let's go. Uh, however, they do have an interview with him. Hello and welcome back to more of your coverage here at the 275th Yu-Gi-Oh! Okay, I won't lie, he looks pretty damn good. <laughs> ...Championship Series live from Lille. Now, I'm very excited to be joined by a very special guest here while we're in France. I'm joined by Maxence Dané Fauvel, who is a very, very popular actor and model here in France. Max, how are you doing? Okay. In his defense, French actors are usually insanely popular in France. And nowhere else. So they could be telling the truth. I actually don't know. Doing? I'm doing super well. Super happy to be here. It's very exciting to have you here at one of our YCSs. Just for people Thank who maybe don't know who you are or don't know about your work, <clears throat> can you give us a little bit of an introduction as to what you do? No comments. Uh, hmm. Yeah, of course. So I'm uh, I'm an actor here in France, and I'm playing in shows on a uh, streaming platform, uh, French TV, mm -hmm. uh, French uh, theater, etc. Very nice. Very yeah. exciting. So super you're obviously cool. a big fan. Name the show. We got to watch it. I like it a lot. Um, I'm super happy about this. Uh, and in case you missed it, this is not the only celebrity that is going to be uh, playing Yu-Gi-Oh! soon. Let me see if I can find. Come on. I know it's here. I know it's here. Our Shadow Duelist is ready to throw down. This time, our Celebrity Duelist will duel the tournament winner. Okay, who is it? It's Rosemi Lovelock. 100%. It's the Greensmith! Oh, it is the Greensmith. My wife got so mad I made that response image to you about this guy as we were together, by the way. What the fuck? You were with your wife? And she was like... Hey, pay attention to me. And you were like, hold up. I got I got a banger reply to this MBT tweet. <laughs> I, I got to say, Rebecca, I'm sorry. I'm on her side. I think. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Although, admittedly, I do the exact same thing with my wife as well. I'm, I'm like, hold up. I got to make this post. It's going to be so fucking funny to me. Oh. <sighs> It's Taylor Swift. I think it's Kamala Harris. It looks good. It's probably Noah Lyles, right? Many people in chat claiming it's you. I don't think it is. 
Additionally, they have made a card in the Blue Eyes White Destiny structure a uh, a secret rare. Cool. It's LSV. Oh hell yeah! It's Antoine Griezmann. Wait, I hope so. White Destiny. Yeah, Farfa. It's a it's a power we all have. Why is that the name? Well, they're not going to call it Black Destiny. <laughs> what if it's White Destiny and it has, like, the streamer on it? <laughs> what if it's Kibler? It could be. I don't think it is. What if the Shadow Duelist is Farfa? Wait, the, the I'm no longer working with Konami is just a ruse. What if it's Kill Tony? That's a good question. I think it should be. Uh, I'm trying to think who it could be. Andrew Hussey. Uh, it could be... Um, it could be uh, Shaggy Too Dope. It could be... Uh, it could be Tupac. It could be, yeah, it could be Joe Biden. <clears throat> it's probably Henry Cavill. I think so. Did you see Tim Walls playing Crazy Taxi? That shit was... <laughs> Let me see if I can find it. So, in case you missed it, uh, this last, uh, the yesterday AOC, I guess is doing Twitch again and was like me and Tim walls are going to play Madden. Cause he's like a coach and like, we'll see who wins. And they end up like getting bored of Madden. And Tim's like, well, I did bring another game and he fucking loads up crazy so taxi, to it, uh, crazy taxi. I, I don't know if you've ever seen it. Yeah. But I'm, I'm gonna come on here in a minute. Here we go. I'm gonna play this thing. Go ahead and pick. And okay, so oh here's my. The oh my God. I, I'm sorry. I appreciate this much more than the Madden. They should have just let him do this. Like, don't, don't make him do the preamble. You can pick these characters, and if you get really good, I found this out, and it might be the coolest thing that I've had happen to me. There's a character of me in there. Oh, oh my gosh. Go, I gotta go pick these people up. Get in, get in, dude. And here we go. And then you, uh, you got to drive. He's like explaining the concept of crazy taxi. It's like, yeah, dog. I think we all understand how a taxi works. You just got to be crazy. To their destination. Dude, okay, you're on. good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, it's not bad. She says that and then he fucks up. I'm not bad. I'm not bad. <laughs> oh <laughs> he just completely God. overshoots it. <laughs> dude, you're good. Yeah, I'm all right. <laughs> oh, my God. How did he miss that though? He forgot to he forgot to break. He was like, "Why would I break?" He also plays Isaac. We got to get one of these of him playing like a ten pie mirror. This was so. It's gonna be one of those things that yeah. every like fandom makes. Uh... I'm gonna come on here in a minute. Here we go. I'm gonna play this. Go ahead and pick. And okay, so oh here's my the deal. You can pick these characters, and if you get really good, I found this out. And it might be the cool. It's a lot of this. money on this shift, though. So you got 463. It's like a New players. York. I'm like a New York baby. I'm like driving the wrong way. They think I'm a tourist. You're charging tourist prices. It's good. It's good stuff. <clears throat> he should become a VTuber. Who's to say he isn't? You know, maybe he was the one that got banned. That's why he was free last night. Librarian. Holy shit. <sighs> Sometimes I think I spend too much time on the internet. Librarian, I think, is the most internet active individual i've ever seen doesn't this guy have like a a wife and kids right like how it's unbelievable he does not okay never mind um that's all for freaks let's watch proc I need my own librarian. I think that would solve a lot of my problems. 
Just someone who does a lot of free work for me. <laughs> uh. I'll do it. <laughs> sure. Uh, here it is. Previously. Oh, silly Gage. What will you do when I activate my Toon Kingdom? On progression series season two. Game two? Yeah, Surely, we're right? dead. Any switch we're scarecrows? Dead. Any battle We're fingers? dead. <laughs> no. Oh, the Toon? Demolished. The two? These were not close games last time. In this series... Both Nimnim Nim and myself are opening the Traversing the Sands of Yu-Gi-Oh's history. In this series, Nimnim Nim and Simo, more like Him Him and Decremo, <clears throat> more like Jester Harlan, think of the 32. Dolan Spank, think of the 26. Joel GV, think of the 10. John Wax Arino, think of the 36. Rico Mar 01, think of the 33. Year 2001, think of the 22. Azazel MD, think of the 16. Sharp Shot, think of the prime. Yata Tan, think of the 27. Nim Nim, think of the 56. No Yeah, for sure, think of the 23. ZT Ghosty, think of the 17. D Not 123, thank you for the sub. Lumikaya, think of the 24. Ramen Fist, think of the 30. ADMRV. VP, think of the 45. Zemyo, think of the 27. Sad Machini, think of the 40. Uh, is that Zoe? 9400, think of the 2. Belbo 5, think of the 9. Scarlon, think of the 32. IDGAFOX, thank you for the 13. Caesar, think of the gifted sub to Rebecca. 5Ds is good, think of the gifted sub to Grey Song. Going down swinging, think of the gifted sub to Objection. And we are now caught up, is what I would say if I didn't now have to say that Captain Star. Man, thank you for the 46. Pleasure model, thank you for the 11. Captain Seagull, thank you for the 26. Turtles are awesome, thank you for the 18. Generic creepy old guy, thank you for the two. And Swamp Mist, thank you for the 36. Afote, thank you for the 12. Okay, good. We're done. I'm ready to say goodbye. I feel like I've aged like 10 years after that episode. Never mind. So, Fuck uh, me. Uh, Tello Bello, thank you for the uh, gifted sub. Nedward, thank you for the two. A Tin Jin Kin, thank you for the 21. Sarah of the Silver Castle, thank you for the 28. Now we're caught up. I'm going to activate breakthrough skill on your construct. And Alex, oh, I'm going shit. to chain... Burial from a different dimension to boost this guy up to 7,000. Battle damage through. Okay, this memory. Alex himself was looking like a friggin' cartoon, bringing the Toon Deck last week and expecting to get any games off me. I respect the choice, <clears throat> Alex. We will get a meme thread. Let me post I that. To win. I am finally securing a pretty sizable lead in the Yeah, game yeah, game. he is. I want to keep it that way. Spinning the wheel always feels fantastic for me. Let me see what I pick up today. The wild cards, not as good for the new legendary duelist. So uh, anything other than that, and I'll be happy. If I don't get that, you know what? It is what it is. I, I'm, I'm doing well anyways. A super rare wild card? I can't believe it. What a great game. Out of everything in the new legendary duel set, I don't have a place at a frame. And it's probably the one that has the most utility. If I want to play Ancient Gears, maybe sometime. So we're going to take one of these. Maybe we can make good use of it. Well, I may have made a fool of myself last episode. Uh, hopefully, we are not going to have a repeat performance this episode. And oh boy, is this episode already started. Okay, so this fantastic. this set is fucking Kaiba unbelievable. Is one of the craziest sets, like not even just by prog standards, but maybe yeah, just we can like turn it up a little bit. Of I remember when they first announced this the history set, of Yu-Gi-Oh. You're looking at this, and you're probably not particularly impressed just seeing this like first no, few this set of was cards crazy. Here. But some of the cards it was they so crazy when it came out. Just insane. Oh, the, the, the first uh, you know what was actually like, really okay, important of, like, of this was the delinquent duo and, like, yeah, reprint, I think, true, in here but somewhere. You have to get past all this to start seeing, like, the really good stuff. And there's some, like, okay stuff. Like, you know, granted, like, Regeki's banned for us. You know, there's, like, some okay cards in here, especially when we get down to here. This is actually an opportunity for us to have access to the Ghost Girl hand traps for maybe the first possible reprint outside of oh, Ghost yeah. Reaper. This Ghost was Reaper a big deal. Ash at the time had one printing and was a million dollars. Ghost Ogre, Ghost Reaper, all these cards are ultra as well, which I believe each of these packs is either three ultras and two secrets or four ultras and one seeker but in any case that's just insane for prog standards this is nuts and actually gives us access to hand traps for the first time i don't think we really care about the ultras too much outside of the hand traps but then getting to the look at that duo oh my god high, but duo at the time was like a 20 dollar card it was the further. only uh, the expensive thing in the uh, go deck the dragon lords which prior to that only came in the structure deck so that's really awesome we have abc dragon buster plus the components so this is like i think the only way 
game we can play ABC for now. I forget when the parts get reprinted again, but it isn't out of the complete realm of possibility that we could play ABC potentially. Granted, we need a lot of help for that. Card of Demise is in Wait, here. is Farfa not a mod packs. here? That's an opportunity for us to get that again. I mean, There's Return of the there. All of I, Obedience is a crazy card. I mean, just like looking at this, like, yes, a lot of it is very Kaiba specific and it only really helps like fortify a few decks. But I think just the alone, the fact that Ash, Reaper, and Ogre are all in here means that if we get lucky enough, maybe we're going to actually have the opportunity to play more than just Effect Baylor and DD Crow in Prague. And that's good enough for me. It's also just Kaiba. Everyone loves Kaiba. So I'm excited to crack You this banned before. him. We open our OTS tournament pack I don't remember this. Anything good. And it looks like they will not continue to do so. First pack, nothing great. Second pack, nothing great. And third pack, uh, <coughs> set rotation is good. Set rotation already, but if not, I guess it's nice to have that. So throw in the collection and let's open 15 packs of legendary collection Kaiba. This was a oh, we got the cut. Out, mainly because of some of the reprints in it were just like iconic at the time. Some of them didn't even make sense. I actually kind of want to pull it up. I want to I take a look at memory lane myself. From the mega packs, this set is uh, chuck full of some good stuff. Of course, iconic Kaiba All right, stuff. It looks like, like the Gage has a Hertz ad in the corner. Like, why is there I'd like to give Gage a Hertz donut. There's things like Card of Demise, which is insane. Dragon Ravine. I think we already have a set of that. That one's not a special. Can you get Farfa in here to share his uh, opinions on the upcoming election? Reprint up until then. Just some no. Really good cards all together. What do I care about what he has to say? He's not an American. Great Yu-Gi-Oh cards to bolster any collection, especially one that we're opening with the progression series. Farfa's going to come on here and be like, oh, I wish I could vote for Hamas. All right. Ghost I'm, I'm familiar like said, with his one of the politics. Cool cards that we, we really wanted, just good to have for you know future. He loves burning like ballots. That. True. ABC, Dragon Buster doesn't seem that standoutish, and all the other secret rares don't seem too He's good either. Gone. But this is a good ultra. I'm happy to see <laughs> no. that one. Oh, another Ghost Ogie and Snow Rabbit. Utopia the Lightning is really strong for our ranked four pull. A and, assault uh, any core. Card? Pretty sure I have a million of those. Dragon Shrine is an awesome secret rare. We just got this in an OTS pack as a common, I think. Which we keep track of the pieces, chat. But in normal terms, I think this is a lot more difficult to get your hands on than you think. And a third Ghost Ogie and Snow Rabbit. Beans chain as well. Wow, those are those are very Kaiba esque secret rares there, right? Majesty with eyes of blue. Chain disappearance. This card, such a cool tech card. I remember in windup era, getting rid of all. Yeah, the way back when. Apparently, I completely forgot how they structured these packs because there are ten cards per pack. So let's see what we get in here. Flip them up and There's see what an we start a. off with. Four secret rares and six ultras. Holy shit! This actually changes everything. Okay, well, starting this off with the so We have a dragon shrine, which is always great. I don't really think I care too much about the ultras unless it's specifically the hand traps. But I think I would like to see as much blue eyes. I really only need like Return of the Dragon Lords to be honest. But Return of the Dragon Lords, if we could build ABC, that would be sick. But I don't know how viable it is because I don't. Do we have Union Hanger? I think that might have been in the structure deck too. Shit! Oh my god! Mm. This is like the ABC pack. Are Damn, you holy me? moly. So cool. ABC, AC. This is I mean, B is the most the important. In here, which means Gage is probably a pretty good shot at getting it. And uh, we've had that over him for a while now. Not that it's like Beacon of White is what I call this stream. Right Fuck quotes, you. It's unfortunate that he's going to have that now. Oh, that, that wasn't me. Also, Stormforge. Wait, maybe it was. I may have not had three copies of this. I'm not 100% sure, though. Still no Ghost Girls. No, Dragon it wasn't. Ravine, this, is this our first chance to get Dragon Ravine outside of like an OTS pack? Because if that's the case, that's also crazy. Okay, this is looking better. Uh, so, Return of the Dragon Lord. It's fantastic. White Stone of Ancients. I think we have one copy of this, but I don't remember. Trident which, I mean, we'll, we'll figure that out later. And King of D is not bad either. <clears throat> we still haven't seen a single Ghost Girl yet, which is a bit frustrating because it's been five packs, but there's a lot of Ultras, so. Oh, my. Delinquent Duo. Well, that's like Mega Band in our series, right? Right, Gecky? Card of the Mind. Um, another ASL um, Core. And a DD Crow. I, I don't think I needed anything from this set, unfortunately, right? So we can just skip it. Okay. We got an A Assault Core in the C Core. Okay, we got a C. And another Dragon Shrine. Oh, boy, maybe I can build a whole ABC deck. Could you imagine? Another you need ABC and you need B. Yeah, that one's. That was not too good. A second delinquent duo. Dude, if I thought it was legal, Azure was Eyes. Right Azure Eyes, Silver Dragon. Mm. Okay, there's our first one. It took us seven packs, but we did get a Ghost Ogre. Uh, Sage we got cool, a Melody. We have Sages, so unfortunately that doesn't really do much for us. Melody, Dark Arm, we might be really spinning at this rate. Oh, and there's Ash Blossom. Maybe we are not respinning at all. One okay. Ash, one Ogre. Man, it was so cool spin, of them to make Ash crazy. and Ultra in this. Second copy of Return. That's looking pretty good. I think at this rate. I don't think man, we can respin. <laughs> I have to really think about like what it's going to take for me to respin. Already getting one Ash is pretty solid, and I'm thinking I would like to get two. I think if I get two Ash, we're keeping. Okay, Card of Demise is pretty good, although it gets limited. Isn't it already limited? Um, it might still be at three, but in any case, it's going to go to one at some point. So having one copy of that just for any of the decks that can support it is totally fine. Mm. Uh, the rest of this pack though is kind of a dud. Hey, that's my third Sea Crush Wyvern. Okay, Just well, in case I want to play some Chambers. Gages isn't going wow, very okay, that's well. that's a good one. Beals the Diabolic Dragons? Yeah. I think I already have one of these though. So maybe it's not as good, right? Oh, a second card of Demise is kind of nuts. Yeah, that I think that Gage is going to have to respin. Oh, but he could go to uh, Walt, Walt Disney World. Sage, Blue, B, Buster Drake, we got There's all the ABCs. There's the B, ABCs. we got ABC, but we don't have ABC. We really, really want to, right? Last pack, anything good in the close? Not really, another white hole. I think we re-roll this. It is what it is. I want to double check and make sure I want to keep this for a second because there's a lot of good cards in this set. I don't know if I got them all. Let me check for a second. Okay, there's Reaper. We're missing a lot. I'm that would be Ash because honestly, I think if I get two Ash, I'm probably going to keep and we already have double, uh, what is it? Return? As well. I was going to say Melody, but Melody is right there. We're already at two Return as well. Ooh, this is going to be close. Dragon Spirit, A of Soul Core. Funny enough, I still do not have a B Buster Drake. And uh, we kind of need, if, if we can conceivably play ABC at all, we do need Buster Drake. <laughs> okay, that's like my ninth Assault Core. Uh, the rest of this kind of What the hell is
please? That would be the best case scenario. I didn't get to see. I got oh, there's B. Like, I didn't get asked. Oh, we got gotta keep Whitestone it. Dragon Shrine. Yeah, we gotta keep it. Oh, this is tough. This is yeah, tough. Yeah, we gotta keep tough. it. It's not gonna Taking get a little bit of time this. to think. This is definitely maybe as good as it gets for me. There's a couple things that really stand out, notably like the card demises. The no, the that's pretty good. Drew and Lockbird. There's one in the tuck. I think that's pretty good. Missed out oh the no, Gage. It's good enough. I'm gonna add it to the collection. Let's see what we're playing today. This is oh well. no, Ash, no ogre. We're white keeping stuff. We got two white stone. We got three return, which is actually kind of oh he did get three ogre. Okay, and we did get a Buster Drake, although I don't think we're playing ABC because I don't think we have Union Hanger, so that's probably just not in the cards anyway. I want to respin to get more copies of Ash. But the problem is we can respin and get nothing because yeah. there are 60 ultras. We open six per pack and we open 15 packs. And even with doing that, there are several ultras from this set that I pulled zero copies of. <clears> so my worst fear is if I respin and get none, I'm going to hate myself. I also got two Ogre. I, like, yeah, two just ogre keep this. Just keep good. this. Like, yes, Ash is more generic. I get that. But Ogre is still like a fine card. What sucks about this, though, is that we don't really have a payoff for the Blue Eyes deck because outside of Chaos Max, we don't have Spirit Dragon. And... Spirit Dragon would be insane versus Penned, but we don't have it. I am a coward, mm. and I'm going to keep this. I am yeah. afraid I am going to lose my only Ash and my two Ogres if I respin. Yeah, I think that's correct. Just out of curiosity, yeah, I let's just... check it out. That's so bad. Don't even... Ash in like the this. first please, one. Please, please, please. I only care about Ash. I just want to see if I would have gotten... Hey, Ogre. Ash, Ogre. Hey, Droll. That's fine. Second Ogre. Second Ogre. Like, okay, okay we're, we're back. For Ash. Okay, nothing there. Reaper. Nothing. 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 Was in the last one. Nothing. Okay. okay. Uh, actually, exactly the what, same. What did I end up with? One. Oh, and no ABC pieces. Breakdown of <laughs> Ogre Ash Reaper. That's actually crazy. Okay. Yeah. I, I don't know. If it's, good if that it's he good kept. Or not, good that he kept. I, I think we kind of broke even. So maybe it's good that I didn't respin. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I'm happy we kept what we kept. It, it's it would have been too risky. I, worst case scenario, I could have just gotten none of them, and that would have been a disaster. So let's uh let's get to no A's. I felt super bad with what Alex brought last week. He brought a two. So to prevent Alex from winning, we're just gonna throw. To prevent Alex from winning, we're just going to throw. That's what we're doing. To prevent Alex from winning, we're just going to throw. Why are we playing this, dude? It's so bad. It's terrible. Why are we doing this? Come on. What is Ojama Pajama in here for? Fuck off. And I absolutely gave him the Slapatron. So today I wanted to tone things back a little bit, still play a competent strategy, but one that's definitely a lot more unhinged, if you will. Alex got rid of Totally Awesome, completely unsurprising, which definitely puts this deck Paleozoic on the back foot a little bit, but there's still some really cool and unique plays we can do, especially with this build that I have in front of me. We're looking at Ojama Paleozoic. Honestly, it's just rank two turbo, much like the other Paleo deck, but it doesn't end on negates like Totally Awesome. We're gonna be looking to be able to make Sendayu turn one off of using cards like Rescue Cat or Ojama Duo by sending it to the graveyard with Morella. Uh, since these guys are beasts, we're gonna be able to stack them on top of each other, make Sendayu, and then this can out any monster on the field, and hopefully the token's just big enough to be an asshole. Duo summons two tokens when it's flipped face up. That's not the important effect, though. The other one is during either player's turn, except when it was sent to the graveyard, you can banish it from your graveyard to special summon two Ojamas with different names from your deck. Of course, getting any of the two vanillas allows you to make the Sendayu, like I said. Um, also, Centuria is just an amazing card. I cooked for this one. Ojama, oh, of course it's I wish. during the main phase, we can add an Ojama card, we can add the duo, and then just pitch it from hand. Also, things like Burial Good gets us there, and then Card of Demise is absolutely <sighs> insane. I'm happy that we got a couple of You know of they just opened the ABC the pack, pack, right? I wish you could have just made them play Ojama ABC with Pajama. That's a cool deck. I'm going to bring something a little bit more fun and entertaining. If we can get a win with this, Alex might just have to quit. I don't know how you come back from a progression series lost to fucking Ojama. But if it happens today, you know what age it is. It is the age of Gage. Let's see if Alex brings something to turn the tide. So we're on the verge of the banning, and I feel like Gage is playing oh, so good that I have to come playing this so shit to again! The best I can play into pen. The reason for that is because the usual setup Wait, involves those three ASFs draft, so are gonna go kind of real hard. Into destruction, and so they're also just really recursive. So as long as we can sort of hold off the initial like onslaught What type of, like, of layout is this? Bullshit, uh, it's Master Duel. Don't you, it's so just Master Duel. Don't worry about it. Multiple anti-spell, multiple cosmic in the main, even Dynamicious, right? Just a lot of just main deck hate for pen specifically. But then we can play some of the new stuff, right? We can play our Ash. We can play our Ogre. Ogre is incredible into like Electro specifically so i'm happy to have that for even on the veilers i thought no, about blue eyes because like now that we have access to return and multiple dragon spirits and a lot of things like that we do have other like means to deal with pen but i just don't think without spirit dragon i feel like the deck just really isn't there and i think this is going to be good enough to uh, actually seal win and get us at least out of the i don't know i think so, i think i'm not gonna lie i think Cal gage's deck is really well positioned what if he flips ojama duo he just loses on the spot there's nothing he can do he's not even playing any fucking links and then we got triple dynamics triple anti-spell warning and judgment again for just pen just being 
able to get rid of the whole summon. That seems pretty good. Uh, I guess I forgot to take Darkle out of here, but whatever. I don't know what else I would play in this place anyway. We have Virgil, we have Corbage, we have Double Downer, we have Darius, Levier, Mech Whip, Giga Brilliant, Alucard, Temptempo, Moose Rhythm, Double Dante, and of course the F Zero. And then for the mm. side, we have our Kaiju. We have Triple Vanity Spin. My thinking is, if I go like Special BA and then Summon Vanity Spin, unless he has Purple Poison, like exactly, he probably just loses on the spot. So that's yeah. what this is here for. Uh, Twin is just more back row hate. Uh, we have Torrential, we have Fire Lake, we have Breakthrough Skill, and we have Skill Drain. Just a lot of general coverage. Nothing like super fancy. I think this deck's been like fine in the past, and I think it'll probably be good enough to win today. Hopefully, but uh, we'll just have to see. So, ladies and gentlemen, let's not make you wait any longer. Banning's on the line. It's time to duel. Ha, ha. This is like the election. They're both going to try and throw gage, as much gage. as possible. Legendary collection Kaiba. I will definitely say this is definitely a legendary set for Prague. Uh, hand traps. Did we get them? I guess, you know, we'll find out. How you feeling? Yeah, you will find out, bro. You will find out. This set, uh -oh. like you said, dude, was was crazy. It's kind of weird to think that all this the hand looks really good, this dude. Oh, like, actually, it's Yoke, fine. This hand is like, not terrible. Really true to like the anime style, right? Like yeah. you saw Legendary Collection Joey and you're like, oh, you got the Harpy card. I guess that kind of fits maybe. And then all the red eye stuff. But you get to this one and you're like, man, I don't remember Kaiba playing Ash Blossom and Joy of Spring. Like, <laughs> well, I don't remember that from the show. Like, but all together, like, that doesn't make it a bad set. There's a lot of really good reprints in here that we didn't have before. Yeah, solid reprints. I mean, obviously the hand traps. Uh, card demise is one that we possibly missed. Yeah, pretty yeah. One thousand three. Yeah. Access this before, so yeah. Well, the hand traps are reprint. Uh, the ABC stuff, for instance, we never got because it was in the structure deck, right? So like, the fact that now ABC might be in Prague is kind of crazy potentially. But uh, and for me too, the blue eyes stuff. I'm not sure how good your blue eyes pool looks, but I mean, the blue eyes stuff is something that you know just helps my end of things, if anything. But yeah, just great set overall. It's nice, especially because we had a couple bad sets historically here. So uh, I guess we're gonna see how well it plays out for us. Eduardo Sanchez, thank you for the support. I know the fans just want to get right into it, buddy. Uh, you have won the rock paper scissors. So what are you gonna be cooking up, my friend? I am ready to duel, buddy. All right, Alex. Look, man, I had a fun time kicking your ass last week. So I decided to tone down my deck a little bit, but dude, I guarantee you're not going to beat me this week anyways. I'm going to start by activating the Foolish Burial Goods. This is a good card. I, I don't think I knew that you had this up until now. Well, now you know. Now you know. <laughs> He's going to say. I don't know if you're ready for this. Right? Oh, do you're ready for this. I'm going to send from my deck to the graveyard. Things are going to get so silly. You might be familiar with the trio, but check out the Ojama Duo. You are not playing this. Oh, my <laughs> God. We're just going to set God. three cards, what the fuck baby. Are you, doing? you might need it. You can take some time to read it if you want to, man. <laughs> I'm familiar with the duo. I'm familiar what with What the fuck program are they I'm using? This is Master Duel. What do you mean? This is Master Duel. I'm going to set a third card, and I'm going to end my turn, man. Good luck. You were shitting on me for playing tunes last week. Well, you're gonna, this you, is some garbage. Yeah, you say oh, something, that's bro. A good Wait one. till I beat you with these Ojamas, and, and then right, well, you're quitting the series. <laughs> we, we made it to the main phase, so no anti-spell fragrance in the future, at least for now, I should say. All right. I mean, he's going to play it. Oh. What do you got? Um... Nothing to the pot agreed. Take two more cards okay. there, Duelist. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fucking need it. Oh, that cycle is crazy. What I'm doing. I'll be all, like, I don't even know what I'm playing around. I have no clue. I have no idea. Like, I know that Ojama ABC is a deck, but like, did you actually get all the components? Maybe you did. No, like, you I don't think you Ojama can. You aren't you so like Ojama simulation? Doesn't that come out for a while? Bro. You don't even know uh, what Ojama muscle does. Know, That's like a plus I know eight. there's the Ojama magic. I know about that, but uh, Ojama magic is a card, man. Gym with the boys apparently. Man, I was ready to do. Why are we playing Ojama magic? I don't even know what the hell to do, to be honest. All right, let's just let's just go for the boy. What's uh. You could have guessed. Stop. You could have guessed. Stop you playing guessed. this stinky deck, bro. Freaking first. I'm about you with Pendulum, loser. Yeah, anyway, sure, sure. Go ahead and what special summon your Farfa. I don't care. Thank you. This is like that the good? easiest yeah, dynamic ever. Yeah, I'm going to Ojama Pajama. Okay, this I genuinely do not know what this does. <laughs> I All get right. to add an Ojama card and then uh, discard a card. <laughs> oh my god. Any card and then just... Oh, so this lets you get magic and then just immediately discard it? You could do That's that. That's actually... You could do I... that. That's true. But it's a plus three, Gage. Are you really <laughs> not going to let the plus three happen? Yeah, all those vanillas, man. That's kind of crazy. That is crazy. That is... I literally... You have to cosmic this. Yeah, sure. Like... You know what? Get your... Whoa! Plus he's letting him do it! Party. Hell yeah, bro. All right. I'm going to add from my deck to my hand another copy of Ojama Duo, and then I'm going to just discard it to the graveyard. Okay. And then this, you can banish it and then special summon two Ojamas. Uh, but that one you can't use. You can use the first one, though, because you sent it on the first turn. Okay. Let's normal summon out Cal Cab. <laughs> We Dude, doing? we are gonna okay. fucking Special Canadia the uh, shit out one. of this cow cap. My Paleo Zoic Canadia. Ooh, Ooh that indeed. Is actually, the perfect. <laughs> That's a response. turn ender. Yeah. You've already normal summoned too. You normal summon the cow cap, right? I did normal summon the cow cap. Yes. Mm. Um, I'm going to. I don't really care about him. I'm gonna flip him down to let the Farfa die. Sure. So this is like Ojama Paleo. I get it. Okay. That's kind of <laughs> kind of. Uh, sure. <laughs> yeah, I can see it. All is good. Rest in peace. Well, this may shock nice deck, dumbass. I know you can't believe it. I know you can't believe it. Let's just go ahead and try to make your life hell. I'm gonna set one. Two. We're never gonna be special summoning anymore. Three. Why are we sending and Dark Hole? Go ahead. Well, uh, yep. I got work to do. Oh no no no! End phase. Right, draw up a turn. Mm. And uh, I'm just gonna flip this now. Oh no! Do you have any answers? Alex, been playing the trap. Bro, deck. I've got like three spells in my deck. I'm really not worried about it. <laughs> we go Canadia really here, right? I'm really not worried about it. But you actually helped me out. Thanks, man. I'll use my Canadia. Uh, that is fine. I'll let that go. Okay, cool. Why wouldn't we go end phase Ojama? Awesome. <laughs> right, well, the only thing I gotta be worried about. How would we go like, anti spell? Like, torrential Tribute's just a really, really good card. What I'm gonna do is
Man, I don't even know. They're just, they'd all do the same thing. Ojama black and Ojama yellow. Ojama black. Crazy. They got anything to them? <laughs> are they, are they chilling? You're good. Oh, man. Oh, Bob Binia. No, make Opa Binia. Fuck, I'm why are they allergic to making Opa Binia? Yeah. At least it'll be able to trade for one if you have some <laughs> sort of, like, destruction. No? This ended up so good. Wait, I'm, like, so scared of nothing. <laughs> and we know this is Cow Cab face down. I, you can keep the anti-spell. I've seen, like, Floodgate Trap pull out of you, which you would have flipped. I've seen, like, it could be, like, Karma Cut or Wing Blast or something. Okay, right, I'm well. I'm going to activate it, uh, detaching Ojama yellow, and I'm going to pop this face down here. I have a feeling that's a good one. That's not bad. That's what not I get? That's a dark hole. That's going to ride. Sure. Oh, awesome. Damn, what did I get? Got my dark got, hole. He's setting blocks. He's setting blocks out here. I have anti-spell up. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to use my Ojama pajama. Which effect are you using here? The uh, first effect? Oh, yeah, because the second one is if it goes Yeah, if it's at the graveyards. Yeah. Gosh, All the banished Ojamas, man. You better look out. Crazy. Crazy. You actually... Uh, oh, he's. Uh, I can't believe he's letting this happen. An Ojama duo again, and I'm just going to pitch that Ojama duo. Uh, we can Ojama duo a second time, right? Yeah, that right? seems pretty good, but you know what would have been better, man, if I actually just gave you Ojamas? What the fuck are you going to do with them, right? Like, <laughs> I didn't think about that. Oh, my goodness. Maybe I know, next this turn. is like funny enough, like the, maybe one of the best decks you could have played against me for like that reason. That would have exactly. been crazy now that I think about it. All right, so beat the cow cab. You're like, anyway, set Ojamas yeah, yeah, anyway. <laughs> I mean, we could go Sondai you here and start pushing, and or we could do nothing. I really don't want to do this, but I think I probably have to. We're going to get pushes here. Oh, aw. Benio, Zuik. Yeah, I guess. That's fine. I wanted to see what you were up to. I wanted to see what you were up to. Oh, it's BLS. Oh, my goodness. I can see why you didn't want to do it. What's the defense on cow cab? Zero. Do have attack stats? Do you know? They all have zero. They all have zero, yeah. I want to say they're all Wait, doesn't blue have a thousand? I don't know about the non-vanillas, but I feel like that's something they all share in common. Except for, like, the fusions. The fusions are, like, 2,000 and 3,000, aren't they? Yeah, yeah, they're pretty yoked up. I'm just going to go to my main phase, too. Honestly, I've got you down pretty good, though. I have an Ojama duo ready to go. I don't even want to two Ojama duos ready to go. They're all zero. Okay. my goodness, that's crazy. This is so fucked up. He played this turn so bad, but it's fine. Set this anti spell knowing that you're on paleo, but I also don't know what other crazy shit nice, this deck you're nice playing. Nice like, it'll, <laughs> it'll be out of the deck. It'll be out of the deck. That's for sure. All right, I'll flip the cow cap. Yep. Good. Uh, I'll just go battle. Oh, oh no. Woe is me. Battle phase with the fourteen hundred. The fourteen hundred. Watch out. What am I gonna fucking do, bro? What am I gonna do? Hey, you can hit over your Ojamas. You can't shit talk too much. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's, that's okay, all can we activate happen. Ojama right. Duo uh, at the fucking the end, end phase, phase this yeah, time? Oh, I got nothing apparently, so I can let me do it. That's fine. Oh, You're man, he forgot. Um, during the main I'm phase, dead this turn. Like, like probably 100%. I'm gonna activate Paleozoic Morella. Hmm. What do you mean? You have to go do do Dominicious here. Mm, like you got something well, you can do. I can change Mishus. my Paleo to stop you from getting your oh, Paleo here. Oh, that is kind of miserable, isn't it? Uh, I will lose the Cow Cab, but to be honest, like yeah, that's right. I'll let you get the Paleo. Yeah, that's fine. Actually, you're right. I forgot about that. Thanks for reminding me, buddy. Because if you're saying I'm dead this turn, like that would require you to have monsters on the field, so. All right, your Dino Mishkis is fine. I don't care about that. Sure. Uh, <clears> I guess I'll put it in attack. Z, oh. okay. All right, I get to dump a card from deck to graveyard. I'm just gonna send this Olinoids to graveyard. Sure. Uh, I guess you can have the set card back. Do I know what the last card is? Do you know what the last card is in your hand? Did I watch you add it? Nope. It's what I drew for last turn. Okay. Nah, this seems the best. I'm just gonna chain it. It's uh, a Dino Mishkis here. Ooh, it's your own Dino. Yep. I'll banish your Dino Mishkis with my. Dino <laughs> I really don't want you to get a guy. I gotta be honest. <laughs> Some kind of spell uh, card. What are you gonna do? This doesn't seem very good. Yeah, I guess we'll just chain. Oh my god, he actually cosmic. did have the Cosmic Cyclone. Okay. Yeah. Well, not my Ojama pajama. Chain Ojama pajama. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Actually, I don't think well, we have a good one. All right. Uh, discarding a card. Yeah, I'll just pitch Ojama Yellow here. Yep. All right, man. And here we go. Yep. Super simplified game state. Hey, maybe if you say so. I get to activate Duo. Pull out two from the deck here. I'll pull out. A I mean, we get to do it black. twice, right? You can do it again. I sure can. <coughs> Powerful. Oh, I think I know what you're gonna do. Are you gonna like cat shark that Gusto Phoenix me or some shit? No, I wish I had that card. No, we don't I have Phoenix. Think you live this turn because I don't think I have a way to, to do that. But you're so confident that I was dead. Though. Well, okay, well yeah, you're like you're dead on paper, bro. You're <laughs> hey, like, please try to draw a fucking card to get you out of this. Like, <laughs> yes, against your two Ojamas that you have on the field. Uh, hey man, they're looking like, pretty threatening. <laughs> they are. Honestly, I'm kind of getting my ass kicked. All right, I'm just gonna rip off the bandaid. We'll get the other duo while I'm okay. taking it out right now. This one's gonna summon blue and Ooh, green. Okay. Okay, now now it's deciding what to do with all these materials here. Um, you I can can't make kill you, which Anomalous is really, really upset me. I'm gonna take these two, I'm gonna slap them on top of each other for Gachi Gachi Game. Wow, Hetsu. ooh, he's tough. He is tough. And then I'm gonna also summon. I'm gonna overlay these two idiots, and I'm gonna summon number 64, Ronin Raccoon Sendai, because they're all they beasts. are beasts. <laughs> yep, they are beasts. Yep. I'm gonna make a 1400 token. Look out! Look out! Sick. Yeah, that's fine. It's 1900, right? All these right? things that can't be killed. This is 1800, kind of yeah. yeah. right? Let's <laughs> I'm go. Gonna go battle phase, just get sure. some damage in here. Like I said, you're alive, but at what cost, right? Yeah, at what cost, right? Yeah, this is, uh, not looking too good. This is, what, 32, 41? Yeah. So I just need to draw Skarm, and then you can't kill me? Okay, that seems pretty easy. Hey, wait, don't get any ideas, because you know. I actually can't beat a Skarm. That would not be cool. <laughs> wait, don't do that. All right. Well, I guess, uh... I'm you can beat a Skarm, right? Too. Doesn't, uh... Set a card, does Ronin like, Raccoon not Skarm. count tokens? All right, go ahead, your tur
<laughs> All right, let's see what we got. I just fucking lost that. Okay, I, that's I, it. This is an insane grip. This is the best match? grip you could hope for. Well, one step at a time, buddy. One step at a time. That was that was embarrassing, though. I, could I have probably played that better? One hundred percent. I'm not even. There's no excuses for that. All right, let's let's try to uh, make up for it. We're gonna start by specialing Rubik. Mm -hmm. uh, let's normal Skarm. At least we have two BAs this okay, time. Okay, he, made it, he made it to Dante. He did it. I did. Yeah, that actually. There's no way Gage wins set. twice. Yeah, I think he's losing this one. We'll see what game three looks like. I haven't Dante. You think that I'm not playing that many BAs in this deck? But all right, let's let's mill three and feel great. What do you hit? What do you hit? Ooh, oh, snow. snow. That's no. That's a big That's one. No. Nothing else crazy, though. Nothing else too crazy. I think with that, we just go set I see Ojama two. Paleo. Is this a throw week? And uh, I think we yes. just try to resolve this Skarm here, and I think we're set. Okay. Nothing fancy. Nothing fancy. Go get and Seer. And Skarm, I guess we'll get our good old friend... Uh, eh, let's get our good old friend Graf. Why not? Seems like sure. a good pickup. Whatever. Not bad. I got wood. We do have some work to do. Oh, right, wait, draw. we drew a job. Oh! Is that helping you? Not, a, not, not exactly, but it's cool. That's not uh, bad, right, dude. Now, you might not expect this. I'm going to set one. I'm going to set I'm two. I'm going to set three. <laughs> and I'm going to set four, baby. Look at yeah, that game play. Yeah, let's go. Move, let's go ahead. Show Why didn't we card of right, demise? No! That's, that's a disaster. Why the fuck didn't let's we card of demise? Soon. What? Oh, right. oh, those are both good ones. You Wait, why I... didn't we do that? Oh, man. <laughs> what, are we stupid? Like, no. Because he wants to draw <laughs> three. Yeah, I see, I see. Ones there, and you banished uh, an oil noise. So this isn't nearly as bad as it could have been, but I, yeah. got a, I don't know what I'm gonna, how I beat this shit. <laughs> I was going to say, all right, now I have to figure out how to kill you this turn so that I don't have to worry about this deck again. Uh, I'm going to have some mills potentially here. What can I mill that's still crazy? Uh, fortunately, none of the mills are nuts. Uh, let's here. just grab out... What is your set? It's probably like Ojama Blue. Hey, that would be your hey, best one. Don't that's make a flip any effect. Assumptions. What do you mean? That's a flip effect. I'm I remember what that thing some of the It's not a flip effect. In the game. Like we're talking Ryko Lightsworn Hunter type one. <laughs> like you better I mean, to be watch fair, out. It is level two. It is level two. <laughs> and it mills your paleo. So, you know, it does have synergy with your deck. I really want to get Seer in rotation, but Seer is also just like such a crazy... We'll get Seer. It's fine. Yeah, duh. All right. The back row is clear. That is... Oh. Yeah, that's fine. Wow! All right, God all right, brace for impact. A rhino warrior? That's bad. Oh, that's man. Uh, I mean, you have to remember, Graf and Seer at one, so it's only like... Oh, that is true. You know what? It's only yeah, Skarm. It could be a lot worse, to be honest. Yeah. If you have Ojama Get Farfa blue, here, do 5,000. Like, and just start killing off the Ojamas, because then at least I sort of get you off of material. But I don't think I Farfa this, actually. I think I'm just going to dump Skarm. Uh, we'll put the boy to attack, and uh, unfortunately, we're not doing a whole lot else. Let's just go battle. See if my assumption's correct here. It was... No. It's the yellow. He doesn't have the blue. Okay. Yellow. Best case scenario. <laughs> this this solemn judgment is going to go so fucking like, brazy. I don't even feel bad about that. Sure. <laughs> I, know. You got it. I wish there was more I could do. I wish there was more I could do. Uh, we will... Hmm. Yeah, we'll go second main. I guess I'll slap downward on. I don't know if you have anything, but... Uh, that'll kill Seer, though. Don't Maybe slap downward on. <laughs> don't. Maybe we just leave Dante out for now. I got plans for Dante, actually. I got an idea. Uh, we will... There we had a Dante in rotation. That would be a lot nicer, but we can't have nice things. I'll just set one. And uh, I will throw it to you. All right, hoping that's not the best card in the Yu-Gi-Oh! trading card game. Um, I forgot about the Skarm, too. <laughs> I was like, oh, I can surely beat this. No problem at all. Surely. Surely. Uh, off of this... We want Time to start bar barring. Seems like you got a lot going on. Got Farfa. I like Rubik for Virgil, actually. That could be pretty good. Yeah, let's get, let's get Rubik. All right, pal. Show me the Oja muscle. What do you got? <laughs> all right, I'm drawing for turn. Oh. Uh, is what it is. Um, all right, man. Well, first things first. I'm going to activate the Ojama uh, duo. Uh, yeah. Get the boys. Uh, we're going to go for a black. And the blue? Oh my god, black and blue. That'll be that'll be your fucking face after I'm done throwing. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the black and the blue. What are you going to do here? What are you going to do here? You can make the send at you again. There's other rank twos you can make. What do you have? Actually, I'm curious. Yeah, oh, is it the dino oh, mission? He's going to snow. No. This is fine. Okay. All right, well, I'm bringing it out. Two Sky materials. Cav. Sky Calvary send <clears throat> I was hoping you'd leave the Dante up, because this guy cleans it up pretty nicely. Provided he's good. That is pretty good. Uh, That is... Fine, I think. That's fine. Oh, sure. Yeah. A big fan of it being fine. All right, battle phase. Is that fine? What are you gonna do? Try to bounce Dante. Does back. he not know that there's phase, a snow? I'm going to Valor your Centaurio. Wait, the yeah. snow clears this, right? Why are we waiting? <laughs> See, I was cooking. I was cooking. Yeah, you had something working out there. I guess what I'm gonna do. He hates is Opabinia. It with no trap cards. It's have? fine. Scarm, graph. We got a few things. We got a few guys. All right. Well, um, I guess what I'm doing is I'm setting a back row, mm -hmm. and I'm gonna set a monster. If I attack, you get the Skarm back. There's no reason to bump into this here. No, this is fine. We can't even fucking card of demise. We specialed. Okay. Let's hope it's uh, good enough. <laughs> we, I can't believe Excellent. we didn't card of demise turn like one. One of the best draws it could have been. Okay. Uh, let's normal summon out Rubik. Duo. Wait, please. Let's see here. <laughs> I think I have successfully baited you into ruining your board, man. Thanks for the normal summon. One less monster to deal with. I'll be flipping up the Ojama duo. 
Let me see oh, what you can do with this. No. Oh, no. Oh, shit. I learned from last game. I realized this was an OP play, and now I'm going to see if you have any way to beat well, it. Here's an OP uh -oh. play for you. <laughs> That's no fun. Oh, Boo. I didn't want to waste judgment Boo. on Centurion because I needed to make sure this play goes through. Ah, so that's, that's what I was thinking sucks. so long about. Okay, all right. Show me what you got. Oh, uh, we've got we've got moves. We've got moves. Uh, we are going to synchro Shokan into the all-powerful Virgil. The boy. The boy. The boy. And uh, we can use this Seer, first and foremost. Uh, who do we want? Probably Graf. Seems pretty good. I don't think if there's any reason I'd want any of the other guys. You think Virgil knows how to play smoke on the water? <laughs> <laughs> he seems like a double went down to Georgia kind of guy. Uh, yeah, yeah, maybe a little bit. <laughs> I think it's better value to get the graph since I can't kill you, which is kind of frustrating. Yes, you can. We'll do that. You can kill him. Uh, then let's Virgil effect. What, you have lethal. What did you pitch? I pitched the lovely Farfa. All right. Am I alive? I'm, oh, my goodness. I'm alive. No, you're not. Let's go. We'll put Dante to attack. And uh, let's get to it. So this is what? 1,000, 1,025? All right. Light work. He's Hard dead! And 25. <clears throat> and okay. the most depressing no. thing that I see at the moment mm -hmm. is Spare Tail Snow activating. Yeah, you figured it out, guys. <laughs> oh man, I didn't know we'd see it. <laughs> uh, yeah, had to, had to make sure that you just forgot that. Those I who know. Figured it out. Figured it out. Uh, we're not going to need those. It's not seven. There we go. Okay. Let's get all these out of here. It's going to blow up my graph, but who gives a shit? Well, you can go get Barbar -bar too. So I'll tell crazy. you what, buddy. Tell you what, buddy. I won't use the effect if I've got. Oh, yeah, no, you're not going for the Barbar -bar play. Come on, that's the most stylistic <laughs> choice. Well, now that you mentioned it. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, he's like, oh, that's a good line. <laughs> you said it, not me, buddy. I'm just saying. Look at that. He's going to be to 100. How insulting! Oh my god. And then the fairy tale snow just goes in. <laughs> yep. Uh, let's just go. Yeah, let's just go. These morons, whatever. Get out of here, and we'll get it. Uh, yeah, yeah. We'll go to game three. <laughs> For the past few episodes, it's only fair. Okay. Well, uh, we were never winning that one. That was well, an no unthinkable sequence. We win! Right back in there. We win! Really? Win the game really? Like this, man. Yeah. Okay. Set three, okay. set blue. That's well. unbeatable. Now, though. But, but I guarantee you will not win this duel, man. I'm going to start by, surprise, setting a card. And then I'm going to set one. I'm going to set two. And I'm going to set three. <laughs> no funny business. Twin Twisters Cosmic in the end phase. Yeah, that was pretty good. Game two. And I'm ah, going to he, opened, he opened fucking Twin Twister Cosmic Pot of Green. Uh, like, Oh my god, the yeah, whole right. deck concentrated well, in Vanity's Fiend. In the first game. Let's actually play it better this time when we have it. Oh man. Well, at least one of us has to get the card right. It's only fair. <laughs> oh! It's not bad. It's not bad. Okay. What do we it's do not bad. I think I need it's to see bad. what we're up against here. So, uh, you mentioned it. We're going to go for it. Oh, no! Oh my god, what are you hitting? This, we're this going left and right everything. again. And keep in mind, I pitched Cow Cab, so technically I'm getting all three of them. You are, you are. All right, well, um, I am going to chain the Reckless Greed. I want Okay, I mean, that's a good one. That's a good one. We have another Reckless? No, resolving. All right, what else do we hit? You got my Paleozoic Canadian. I wanted that card so bad. I bet you did. I bet you did. Let's Cow Cab this back row. All right, it's going to be Ojama Duo. It is the duo. All right, at least it, like, stalls your turn, maybe, right? I can see that. I can see that. It's all fine. All right. Um, I'm going to put the Canadian. I force everything out. Force everything out. Right here. And then I'll give you two of the finest Ojama tokens. You're so kind. Two of Just for you, man. Just for you. All right. all right. Well, you are reckless. So if I can, like, deal with whatever nonsense you got, we might be able to do something. But it's it's a tall Oh, this is game. actually tall... kind of funny. Because by duoing, we can't get to Vanity's Fiend. I'll ask. It is a tall ask indeed. What is the worst <laughs> case scenario? Worst case scenario. Wow, that's Ojama. really. Hold up. That's really interesting. Wow! Wow, why... Why did we not play this different? Because if we cosmic the duo, then we don't have to worry about its special summoning. And we get to interrupt the paleo summon, so we put him on gotta have a second guy to make Sondayu, which is not game winning. But now, we can't even do the special Barbar Tribute Vanities Fiend. Blue? Does Ojama move to be killed in battle, or is it just a flip special two Ojamas? I forget. Uh, it is destroyed by battle. Oh, it has to be destroyed by battle. You're kind to let me know that. But it. if it's just any Ojama, you've got two guys to overlay into anything, which is still... We make Opabinia here and go good. crazy. This is so rough. God, these Ojama... I, I was telling you this in side decking. This has to be literally one of the best decks you could have played against my deck specifically. Oh, yeah. Like, just just, just because of this. Just because of this right here. This is so I'm fucking annoying. I'm going to just be like, well, I guess I passed my turn. <laughs> and I'll be like, let's go. Easy game. Yeah, I'm thinking about it. I'm not going to I mean, set okay. torrential set is two, insane. Yeah. And then I'm going to pass no. my turn. Shocker. That's Shocker, I know. Shocker, I know. Shocker, I know. How <sighs> sad. All right. Well, let, let put a damper on my plan. That might surprise you. All right. One on the reckless, but that's all right. That's all right. All right, man. How am I? What am I cooking up against you now, then, huh? All right, man. I'm going to flip up the Ojama blue. It is the blue. It is the blue. It was the blue. When you read it, by the way. It, yeah, like on, on paper, yeah, you read this card. Torrential like, oh, here is, is so like, good. Crazy. It's just insane. 
Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna torrential. Okay, that's what I kind of thought you might have, but this is perfectly okay here. Yeah, I had to like I feel like if I don't, it's just gonna get really bad for Ooh, me. Especially if you try damage. to make Yeah, the damage! Let me go <laughs> duo here. Time in the round. Time in the <laughs> round. Right. Alright, man. Uh I'm going to activate the uh slight damper on the mood here. Alright, yeah, I'm just gonna activate Ojama Duo. Yep. Alright, I'm gonna pick up two of the finest Ojamas here. We're gonna go black and another blue. Handsome men. Are they all men? I don't, they can't be. I don't even know, to be They're honest. I didn't watch DX enough to find <laughs> out. What's your favorite Ojama gauge? Me? Uh, I'm actually Cav. a huge fan of yellow. I don't know what it is okay. about that guy. I just like, I'm assuming they're all guys. Like, I don't, I don't know what it is about that guy. I'm just a big fan of the yellow. Right, I'm going to summon this Antario. Seems like it gives you a little bit of trouble. Sure. Battle phase, 2k, please. I'll take it. All right. I've always been a, a green fan myself. Big fan I, of the green. I like his, It's kind of like cool. It also eye. outs the why. Vanity's right, fan. I'm going to set one. I'm going to set two. Oh, if Alex gets it lucky here. Two is pretty good. All right, see what we can do about it. Twin twist. Oh no! Shouldn't have done that. Shouldn't have done that, Alex. God, have, like, He's so greedy with the twin twister. The he knows duos, duos in the Stop, deck. Bro, that'd be crazy. <laughs> so, yeah, oh. the There's a uh, the uh, rank three pool is not particularly good at dealing with sky calories and target. No, really. I honestly can't think of much actually. So maybe you are kind of fucked. Got two lines. I think one's a little bit better. You're still reckless too, aren't you? I am one more turn on reckless. Yeah, you have one more turn on reckless. Yep. Yeah. Okay. All right. Uh, we're gonna try this. I don't have a high degree of confidence that this is gonna work very well, but uh, we're gonna we're gonna see how it goes. We're gonna it's, it's gonna be vibes based. It's gonna be vibes okay, based. okay. Okay. Vibes based we dueling. <laughs> We've been there. And the vibes must be absolutely Discard Barbar. Is he still screen holding screen out on Fiend? Not bad. Not bad. You just <laughs> Barbar? What the fuck? Well, I mean, sure. I'm gonna chain the duo. <laughs> Had another duo. Insane. <laughs> yep. And the tough thing is, brother, both chainable. Mischief of oh. the no. Ooh. That also really fucks with everything, doesn't it? All right. Uh, yeah, you can have some tokens. No problem there. Appreciate it, buddy. All you. All you. That is. Terrible. Well, I guess on the plus side, I'm not dying. No! Yeah, that's Why are we not <laughs> chaining <laughs> Cosmic? You. Fuck. Okay, you have a deck that's running against you. It's like every <laughs> Honestly, it's kind of crazy. Like, I, I think every single time that I've played like this Paleo deck, it had like one specific interaction that lines up perfectly for Mischief. Like, remember, yeah. you would play like Chaos Max, and I'd be like, no way, this stops. It, it, <laughs> works. Sweet. it works. This is yeah. a Cosmic <laughs> Cycle and has been just <laughs> so <laughs> pathetic, <laughs> dude. Yeah. Well, I'm just passing. And Hell yeah. I that's more, what I, that's that is like the worst case scenario those two back row could have been. I'm like, okay, I can deal with like one of those two. The fact that it's both makes this even more. Horrific. Yeah, go for it. All right. <coughs> Using up this Ojama 2, I'm going to get a draw next turn. All right, man. Well, here's what mm. my thought is. Are you ready to hear my thought process? I'm listening. Makes any sense. Like, what do you, if I don't attack these tokens, right? Like, you have to shift them to attack position. That's your only way to get rid of them. So, like, what if I just... I don't I don't think I have a way to kill you because you're lucky, but... <laughs> but does it matter? <laughs> it doesn't matter, right? Like, I think I just make Sendayu and just kind of laugh at you. Like, that seems to be the move. I'm going to do that. I'm, I'm feeling that one. <laughs> All right, Sendayu's got to go in defense position, though. Because if I'm trying to force you to attack somewhere, it's got to be one of the big bunguses. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to use this. Detach. And I'm going to get the uh, attack position token here. 2,000. Two thousand. Big. Yeah. Massive. I'm just going to attack, attack. It doesn't do anything. I, I mean, you, you, turn again. you do have to I mean, attack, probably. I, if I attack, it gets you on a one-turn clock. You're dead next turn. If I mischief you during your drop phase, you can't even play, probably, right? I mean, to be fair, I can't play now anyway, because I have these two fucking morons <laughs> on my field. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I, I think, think you have one. to pull the trigger here. You're going to have to get rid of them eventually. battle phase. Yeah, sure. I'm going to remove one of these idiot dumb tokens from you. Which one do you want to keep? You want to keep the blue or the red one? Uh, I like blue more than red. Okay, so. I right, get this one. <laughs> I appreciate it. You're so <laughs> All right, awesome. 300 damage. I'm just going to make. die from the burn damage from these tokens. Like, <laughs> go ahead, dude. Let me see what you got. I'm gonna see if you can even out this guy. That would have been nice a while ago. Okay. Well, you didn't shotgun mischief. Is that I think you, you have to. You got a level two on the field. I'm right? not worried. My level two non-burning abyss guy. That's you, man. You're, you're the Ojama Red. You look exactly like that right now. I mean, yeah, <laughs> I'm, I'm red with anger and rage. I think I have to hope that I get <coughs> extraordinarily lucky here. We'll see. We will see. What does well, he, I do what have does he mean token, hope that I'm extraordinarily lucky? The crane crane from hitting the field. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't stop the crane crane. But you know what does affect Baylor, right? Yeah. But I don't have that. <laughs> oh, it's actually gonna work out. Damn, I didn't really expect that to go that well for you. All right, let me see what you make. Get Cow Cow back. Not that this really matters. Uh -huh. I don't really have many options here. Here we go, Dante. Like, here. You said none of them really deal with Sky Calvary, honestly. No, Sky Calvary is just such a pain to deal with, unfortunately. I think. Man, even if I do that, it doesn't feel very good. I think I just, like, have to make the guy. Yeah, you got a Dante, and just hope. So we'll make him. All right, the boy. <coughs> He's here. Use the effect. We'll detach Crane Crane. All right, please be merciful. I don't even know what I can mill to get me out of this. Snow would be good. Is that a Farfa? No, it's That's okay, nothing. Okay. It's a Scarm. Scarm. Scarm, like, Scarm is big. You got an Ash Blossom. Yeah. That's I, nice. I was waiting for you to say something about it. I was waiting for you to say something about it. Yeah. <laughs> it must be nice. Uh, I don't think it's really going to do much good in this token here. situation, buddy. Kill your token. I can't kill Senda you. And then... Watch out, bro. I'm drawing a card next turn. I know, that's the scary part about all this. Do I crash this fucking Ojama token and take 2k? I might just die. Yeah, I think you have to. It seems so risky. I think the Ojama token actually maybe saves me. I might just be dead anyway. I mean, you have mischief. All right, let's just go battle. Let's at least stem some of the ble
Thankfully, we can slap on this downward magician. To ensure that he doesn't die Dante forever. The grave. Yeah, slightly annoying, I guess. I mean, it's still not the end of the world for you. I feel yeah. like you're probably fine if I had to guess. I'm going to set one, and I am going to pray, because at this point, <laughs> I think that's all I can do. Go ahead. All right. I get to trigger Skarm, which you is do? good. You do? Uh, I have Skarm a drama for... token on the field, so I don't think it's that good. But, you know, we'll take what we can get. Could get Farfa to banish the token, and then the token doesn't return. That seems so bad. I might yeah, it's terrible. Sure. Let's grab him, just in case. <coughs> okay. And uh, it should be over to you. All right. Get to draw. It's we have an out for baby. the solo. Oh, my, oh my God. God. I don't like to do that. All right, check this out, man. I think I figured something cool out. I'm going to start by just setting a humble card, bro. Doesn't seem like much. But check me out. One card in hand, make it three. Card of the Mize. Oh, I saw you pick that. That's you don't have a so one. goaded. Fuck off. I mean, I pot of greed is. I can't get that. That is like the best thing you could have been. Now I know why you reacted that way. I think I would have too. Yeah. <laughs> that's kind of crazy, yeah? Especially oh! Oh! Was too, like seriously. Oh my God. All right, well, I can't special summon the rest of the turn. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go. I think I'm just gonna leave you with the token again. I'm not even gonna out it. I'm just gonna go battle phase, and I'm going to punch my Centuria into your downward magician. I'm gonna Sense take five, me. no problem. But it's gonna get this off the field and in the bin. Oh, you have to detach. I was so confused. I was like, what is going on right now? Yeah, no, I was confused too. <laughs> yeah. Detach like, Dante. Do? We'll detach the Dante. Uh, let's get Scarm back. Yep. <laughs> okay, and then uh, I'll use this in party. Now it activates. Yep. Detach? God, isn't Yu-Gi-Oh so fun? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Incredible, man. You got something else? No? We're good? Uh, you're good. Okay. Main phase two. He's giving me the cow cab trigger because I have that. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, card of the Mize is a very strong Yu-Gi-Oh card. I'll set one. Wow. Draw three I'll cards set two. And I'll set the third. You're <laughs> just so good. He's so crazy, <laughs> dude. Oh, I have to discard my hand with card of the Mize. Oh, my God. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I can't believe it. Oh, my God. That is, like, insane. That is actually insane. I wish you would have just drawn like three Ojamas at least. Like that would have been funny. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it would have been good for the last. You know what's time. annoying is he still right, can't out the we fucking should, token. Should, I don't think I can. To be honest with you, I think we just gotta chill. This is not looking good. Holy shit, this is not looking good. All right, I am just gonna set one and hope I can just wall you off. Yeah. <laughs> oh, whoops. All right, that's okay, okay, right, come on. Draw. Okay. Ooh, that's that's not a bad one. Um, I'm gonna start by using the Paleozoic Oleanades. I'm gonna pop this one. I've got a good feeling about that one. That is so fucking annoying. Was it a good one? <laughs> it was a good one. <laughs> It was a good one. Oh, it's a very good one. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, oh, I'm sorry there, buddo. Let's see here. What am I going to do, man? Um, I was really upset. I wanted to use during your end phase. I wanted to activate my Ojama Pajama, but it didn't give me the, uh, the option to. Give me some more dudes. Sure. Okay. Nah, I'll change this holy annoyance here in the graveyard. <coughs> that is allergic to Cosmic, dude. The man is allergic to Cosmic Cyclone. Okay. Uh, this one duo, I'm going to add the duo, pop. and then surprise, surprise, going to pitch the duo. Seems pretty good. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna flip up Ojama Black. So uh, we we just get to go um, Opabinia right, here. I am going to take my two We are allergic to Opabinia! Again, Petsu. <laughs> Big boy. Huge boy back. Uh, I'm gonna change Sendai to attack and I'm gonna activate the effect. Mm -hmm. It's gonna give me a 2400 Big Bungus token. Uh, he might be dead though. Oh, huge! This is not lethal yet, bro. It's kind of fucking pissing me off. Unless that face down is like not a scarm. Like, what are the odds, Al? You know it's. What are the odds? You know what it's. The odds? Far, um, so. I'm just gonna go battle phase. I'm gonna. Yes, it's not a. It's gonna be more powerful than a fate. Like, it's gotta be less powerful than Gachi. Like, it has to be a zero. It's not Cow Cab. You already bounced it. It's I don't think any info you know it's Farfa. Well, you know I have Farfa and Skarm somewhere. Farfa has I 19 so. and Skarm has two, so it's you can just tell me no shot. It's <laughs> it's not happening. Um, so let's see here. We'll go 1400 with Sendayu into the token. I'm finally. I'll relieve you of the token, Alex. You're welcome. You're so kind, Gage. You're so kind. And then <clears> I'm just gonna <throat> generously give you back the face down here with Centuria. Okay. Cool. Oh, we're not. All right, understandable. That's not how okay, it works. So, yep. He gets to bounce the token we'll here, which is good. Here. Oh, we'll be at the end of the damage step. That was really silly of me. That's not how it would work. <sighs> Centauria, I got. This like, is such a hard one. Now. Centauria still has material, which is really. <coughs> but then your giant token is also a problem for me as well. It is. <laughs> and plus, you've already attacked with. Centauria. Is Opa even like, good? Yes. Far for the token, it doesn't come back, and you don't have any more material on Sendayu. You can't make another one, but then I still have to deal with Centauria. Isn't ideal. You also have another fucking Ojama duo in Graves. I don't even know how much this matters. Why did we oh, pitch the I'm duo? Sure you know, it might have... Yeah, you're right. It might have been uh, worth it just to I'm keep the duo. Turn, no matter what. This is going to hurt. I think I need to get rid of Centauria. Yeah. No, it makes sense. Uh, all right. Take some damage. A lot of damage here. Put me down to what? 11? Yeah, you're down to 11. Jeez. <laughs> Hanging on by a thread. All right, I'm going to just activate this Reckless Creed <clears> here. I don't have a Paleo, though. Don't worry. Yeah, you don't have a Paleo. Why are you doing this? I have my reasons. Yeah, yeah he does have a Paleo, right? Oh, no, he doesn't. Sure. All right, main phase two. Why do you do that? One, two. Honestly, still feel fantastic, man. Your turn. As you should. As you should. All right. Uh, so Farfa resolves. You get your guy back. I feel like I need to do this to give me the best shot at winning. So I'm going to call it. Oh, what's he hitting? That one? That's fine. You can have that one. What was it? Olenoids? Okay. All right. Olenoids, he goes down to one hundo. All right. Just doing it as soon oh, as that's not... Uh, and mischief. Mischief will cook him. 
We have to have vanity. Even Yonder. vanities doesn't do it. God, he sprites in the god damn, I can't yeah. believe he won right. this! Years off from that. He's so oh, good! Oh my god, you paid with your cosmic cyclone. You're what's, a <clears throat> what's insane about this is that I'd actually feel so good right now if you didn't hit my fucking solemn warning uh, with your Olenoids earlier. Because I actually think I would be able to turn it around right. I don't know what this back row is, so maybe not. But even with you mischiefing me, I actually think what I'd be able to What can you turn it around turn with? Like, Nothing beats this board! <laughs> I do not I'll show that. you. I'll show you. I'm, I'm probably dead, but I'm going to show you right now. Oh, oh no, it's the level two star. <coughs> yeah. This was my plan. Hello? Oh. That's that doesn't beat that's any that's of the so cards on field. Trying to get this fucking it materials on doesn't beat Cav. Right? It doesn't so beat the token. So if oh, he has to go Gachi you you to put it at 22. Token, then if I go, you're a diamond. <laughs> yeah, so if I, if I warn you oh, to send you, man. and then I got the materials off the Centauria, then I summon Vanity Speed, and you just have nothing you can do to beat a giant guy. So yeah, that's it. Do the final blow. Oh, oh my god, I got fucking cooked. Absolutely. This was a good game three, though, I will game, say. Bro. The, game, the game three was crazy. Ojama too really crazy. I don't know what to tell you. Ojama far too crazy. I can't believe Ojama sent me into the banning. I never thought I would be uttering that. He tried to throw. He tried to avoid the banning. He tried to throw. Several episodes, to be honest. So. <laughs> How was your it's Ojam over. How was your LC Casey opening? Was it good? It was. It was okay. Uh, as you saw, I did get Ash. Uh, I also got two Ogre. Damn, got... it really is the age of Gage. Simo's got to stop bringing this dog shit ass deck. He's got like three awful decks he cycles between, and I don't know why. Like, just play something better. <clears throat> Surely he's got the pool for it. He got Ojaw mangled. Gage ran, don't get Electromite banned turbo, but underestimated Alex's ability to lose. Gage two games up. Well, better throw so I don't get my cards banned. Simo throws harder. Paleo Jama without Leoncolia is criminal. Oh, you're right. Leoncolia is crazy. LKC is the first opportunity for us to get hand traps in Prague. I really enjoy how immediately after Gage says Simo's going to need to bring a crazy deck to turn the table, Simo brings BA for the 40th time. <laughs> Stop playing fucking BA. Please! Please! Oh. Mm. <clears throat> all right, let's see what you all came up with. Hey guys. <laughs> Good. Okay, I'll take it. Gage and the hot piece of bulge he pulled by being a cutie patootie. Also, does anyone remember when Doug made a 10 minute video about every Ojama bulge? How, how can we watch this? Is it is it still online? I think it's that. For one reason or another, the Ojama card. What is that zoom, dude? For one reason or another, the Ojama cards have always had a very dedicated fan base. And I don't even mean when they got Ojama Country, which is a big deal for that archetype, but even since they were just normal monsters appearing in the artwork of a couple other cards, people seem to really latch on to the Ojama monsters. And that's pretty crazy. And what's even cooler is that in 2X. Old Doug is like, he he's very methodical. 2018, you can even play these cards. Um, you can play them in an ABC Buster Dragon deck. And obviously that deck is a little bit hurt because Acor is limited. However, the Ojama ABC Buster deck did see some regional success, which is pretty crazy. It actually made fairly decent use of all of the Ojama cards in combination with ABC cards. But overall, the Ojama cards, while they haven't ever really made an impact on the format, have always been in the back of several <laughs> people's minds just in case they ever the Ojama Yellow. And the reason that Ojama Yellow is the lowest one on this list, the least... Ojama monsters, and I'm a man of my words, so the start of this video will be spent talking about something that I never thought would come up on this channel, and that is the Ojamas and what's down there. Now, as someone who admittedly doesn't find the Ojama monsters or their outfits very attractive, I will be analyzing these different than many other people. So if you find this sort of thing attractive, maybe your list would be the exact opposite. But I will be going from least scary to scariest, starting out with Ojama Yellow. And the reason that Ojama Yellow is the lowest one on this list, the least scary, is because on the original artwork you actually can't see it. It's, it's hidden by his beer belly, and that's perfectly fine. Now it is worth mentioning on other Ojama artworks you eventually do see this part of him. However, on that original artwork you do not, so he will be the least scary. Doug, can I pay mind. you for um, another one of these? Blue is pretty okay. Um, not 
only is Ojama's Blue's bold not as prominent. Also, it looks like he's not really thrilled to be wearing the outfit. It's kind of like he was dragged along and he got pressured by the Ojama country to actually wear their, their, their outfit of the people, but he doesn't look like he's really into it. And I think uh, one of the reasons that some of these Ojamas are so frightening is because they're just owning it and owning it a little too much. So I'll put Ojama Blue pretty low on the list. And then also I'll put Ojama Knight pretty low on the list because unlike all these other Ojama cards, I think it's the only Ojama card that is actually wearing clothing. So that one uh, isn't that bad at all. Even if he is wearing sort of a really frightening thong, at the very least, I think it's over his armor, yeah, which makes it not nearly as bad. Yeah. The two that they're new sort of Ojamas. Are Ojama Green and Ojama King. These <sighs> ones are kind of undecided. They feel like they're not that bad, but they're not as good as the ones Green's that I just Green's insane, so dude. His cock it, is as out. As my top two picks. So my top two picks for most scary Ojama bulges. First off, at number two, we have Ojama Black. And uh, I think as a kid, okay, this was the one that frightened me the most. I mean, just, oh my God, look at it. I mean, don't look at it, but also if you want to know, like you look at it's there and it's it's looking me in the face and it's that one. Let's just move on. So the number one scariest one I feel is Ojama Red. And I don't know what it is. I think it's because it's kind of hiding in plain sight. The Ojama itself is red. The background is red. His underwear is red. So you don't really notice it until you look at the card artwork closely. And by then it's too late because now you got this Ojama Ding Dong sort of in your face and you can't escape it. You can't unsee it either. So I think Ojama Red has to be the worst Ojama Bulge just because it is uh, sort of hidden in plain sight and it pops out at you, which is pretty frightening. Now that I've spent five minutes making sure this video gets demonetized, let's talk about the actual Ojama cards and their power level. So okay, good stuff. Thank you for that. When my... This prog episode was a meme, bro. Someone just post the whole episode here. This is nothing. One for prog, one for pre-prog. If I win, Alex goes to the banning. So hydrogen bomb versus coughing, baby. <laughs> uh, it's white destiny. There, don't fucking use my body for this, dude. Come on. <laughs> Blame Scarlon if I'm late. I fear no man, but that thing it scares me. Thank you. Stop posting this meme. It ain't funny. When you ban every third week. Week one, penned soup. Week two, penned soup. Week three, ice soup somehow still wins. <laughs> oh, fuck. This one's good. This one's really good. <clears throat> Gage realizing Simo through the last two games to ban Electromite. Ugh. <clears throat> hmm. Do I think Gage should have won the episode with Ojamas? No. Do I think it's funny that he did? Yes. I thought your BA deck was stronger than that, Alex. Stream meme that came to me like a god-given revelation. Yep. Uh, Simo, I would have gotten away with it if it weren't for that schmetterling fish. I love this uh, language. Kon ganze machen und ergin fish. Okay, Ebenwalds. It's just not real. Simo this week again. <laughs> Uh, Simo this week. Uh, yep, yep, yeah, that'll do it. Yu-Gi-Oh! Player circa 2008. Tuners are a bad idea and should not exist in the game. <laughs> this is not about Yu-Gi-Oh! New memes, Pog Jam, new memes, Pog Jam. Good stuff, everybody. I'm gonna piss, then we're gonna play Infernoid. Please call Farfa or Gage. Oh, shit. We haven't called Gage in forever. Let's see. Let's see if he's on. Uh, he is not on. Let me see. I'm going to send him the... Oh, he, he actually did not pick up. All right. Pissing time in that case. Ugh. Couldn't put a video up while he pisses? It wasn't going to take that long, chat. <coughs> Ugh. Ugh, okay. Didn't wash hands? I washed my hands. Yu-Gi-Oh! Master Duel. Uh, 
What are we playing today? I think we're playing um uh, Noid. <clears throat> Can you call the Konami employee formerly known as Farfa? I mean, I could. I feel like it's like four in the morning for him. <clears throat> Hi. <laughs> okay, I didn't know he was uh like that. <coughs> Ugh. Yeah, let's 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 riff with Farfa while we're building the deck. <clears throat> hmm. Hello. You heard that a uh, spooky Discord call notification? <laughs> right. It's really cool, right? That's the one. Uh, I gotta ask. Um. Who are am I you, voting for? I'm glad yeah, you asked. Who, who, I was going to ask who you <clears throat> intend to vote for in the American election. <clears throat> yeah, it's it's going to be... A... What are the actual options outside of the big two and the set kind of third? Is, uh, there, is there a world? It's like uh, state-based or something, right? What? Uh, like, for example, like Greens, right? They're not on every single voting uh, card, right? Isn't it based off of... Uh... Right? Yeah. I don't know exactly how your system works. So you can vote for... I mean, you should be able... Any any uh, any uh, one of the parties that took it seriously probably is on every ballot. Um, <clears throat> so you can vote... I don't vote think they're on every single state, though, right? Yeah, no. The, the Green Party fucked up and forgot to... <laughs> forgot to apply for some of them. Hmm. Um... But in case you want to know how seriously we take elections here in America. <coughs> no, but uh, why is everyone on so many sixes? Why are they on two, like this many Piatti? Am I missing something? What does is, what is Infernoid do, by the way? Because every time I've seen that deck, it, it doesn't... I, I don't know what it really is doing. It seems to make like a link... Yeah, they have a link now. His name is Dr. Worm. His name Dr. is Mr. Worm. Flood. Floody. It's an album called Flood. Hold up. Okay, so no, we have we have uh Jill Stein. Uh we have Frankenstein. Uh just kidding. That's a little Halloween humor for you. Uh we have uh Cornell West is on a bunch of ballots. Um, really? Yeah, he's he's good, but you know, had, the the thing that's kind of been haunting his campaign is he signed to the wrong, uh, the wrong party originally. He was, I think, in PSL, and then like there was this big hubbub because they have like their own drama going on that he didn't want to be a part of. Um, we have Kanye West in some jurisdictions, uh, who. I think did sneak onto the ballot in some places. Um, Doesn't he have a criminal record now or something? Well, Kanye? so does Trump, but yeah. Wait, actually, yeah. does is Trump technically a criminal? Yeah, he's a he's a felon. Like officially, so he, like he probably can't vote, but he can run. How does that make any sense? <laughs> well, I mean, the the argument is you should be allowed to run if you are being uh, targeted by the state, which I I do agree with. It's how uh, Debs did a, uh, a a run from prison. <clears throat> um, I think uh, who else? Um, we have. Why don't I have Monster Gate here? I, why can't I find Monster Gate? It's giving me every card that says Monster in it. It's a super. Um, are you gonna stream it? I still. I'm waiting for the. Like I asked you four years ago to do it. You didn't do it. Like, are you gonna stream it? I may. I was thinking about it. I don't know if people would Ooh. show up. I think it'd be weird. Um, I mean. As long as you're having fun, like that's what matters, right? <laughs> well, and money. You know, I'm still a Rothschild at the end of the day. Mm, what did he mean by this, chat? <clears throat> uh, and then um, we have uh, 
So RFK suspended his uh, what's it called? Um, his campaign, but he didn't do it fast enough. So he is on the ballot a lot of places. Um, am I missing anyone, chat? That could conceivably do anything. Connor eats pants. Oh yeah, Connor eats pants is running. Wait, the streamer? No. Uh, <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't if like Connie's <laughs> on the ballot. Then I mean, Trump's on the ballot. That's like a joke in and of itself. Hey. I, I'm sorry that you don't understand what saving America is going to take. It'll take every last ounce of the federal justice system. <laughs> I'm going to have to use my own list for this. These people do not know how to build Noid. Man, <clears throat> the worst thing about building uh, any deck live that you haven't like pre-prepped is like, everyone has an opinion. Everyone wants to show their penis. but not I voted eight times for it. Trump. Ooh. That's true, right? <sighs> That's legal. All right, here we go. This is the reason I like my list is because I'm playing less URs. I'm only playing one of this ass card. Okay, I'm playing two Anonku, two Deviati. Oh, I forgot I was playing um I was playing Snake Eyes shit in here. Yeah, people are gonna be mad if I do that, I think. I don't want to play three reignition though. It's so bad. Okay, p not playing Snake Eye cards in Infernoid is like, I don't know. Like it's just that doesn't it just doesn't work. Like it's like it. <laughs> I get like oh meta package and stuff, but come on, dog. It's a level one fire deck. Like how? Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Where's my Sujet? <clears throat> yeah. That They'll be mad regardless. Yeah, well. Oh, do you know, like, the uh, the naming structure of the Infernoids? Like, do you understand, like, what no, the No, is, the is there something is there? I should know? Yeah, so they're all uh, numerically in order. Well, I think they're level-based. So, like, you mm -hmm. know, uh, Atendel is, like, an 8, and Siete is, like, a 7. And, like, they're all... Um, oh, Named after it's 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 how you say those numbers in various Eastern European languages. It's like Latvian, like Estonian. Oh, that's like why like they're that. all disgusting. Mm, how did, I can't believe he just says that. Like he just says that out loud. <laughs> like Decatron, yeah, I, that's like a play on Dis or Des, Deci and stuff like that. I don't know. You guys know how it works. I don't get it. Seis Tamas is seventh in Finnish. Not a real language. Come on. You're not going to play like one snow? <sighs> I am playing a snow. Oh, there it is. Yeah. They I'm want the me to play fucking this. rollback. Come on. I mean, I think if you play rollback, there's that's like uh, the gimmicky stuff that you want to do, but then you have to Ooh. play more and more bricks. One rollback, one evenly is actually kind of bonkers, though. Why Pulling off a zero so card evenly rollback. is... Hold up. Mwah. I'm going to play one feast, and then I'm going to play one ghost meets girl, a fuckeroni story. But I want to play more so rollback. Few? Well, rollback's dog shit. No, rollback's really good. Fuck you. Well, you don't want to draw it, like... <laughs> Bitch. <laughs> I want to draw it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'll take out a suggest. E? Why don't we... Uh... Ask the judge here why we don't play Maxi. Jack Coder, really what is Maxi. the na name the quick play spell card in this deck that clashes with Maxi? Yes, it is. I'll spoil it for you. It is Monster Gate. Monster Gate clashes with Maxi. How? Oh, yeah, you don't. You don't want to like summon Maxi. <laughs> this is like this is like being annoying. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> nah, but no. It, it the the election's really bad. Um. We we're gonna find out next Tuesday, and it's kind of the the fucked up part about it is like, yeah, like I think it could go either way, right? Uh, Wait, is it next Tuesday? Yeah, it's like in a week. Oh shit! Yeah. Wow. I but like I think it could go either way, right? Um, but do you? Yeah, I do. Um, Why? But, what do you mean? 
I I think it's going to be a Kamala Lonslight, personally. Well, I think you better get prepared, buddy. (laughs) Uh, I, mean, I I wish there was a way for both of them to lose, but I sadly, wish there was. Uh, I wish there was a way for them both to win. I just think they both have such great <laughs> ideas. I think they should work together. <laughs> I think you know what? Actually, in the interest of uh, you know, getting everyone's voice heard, uh, she should make him the vice president, and his his goal will be to solve the Israel Palestine conflict. I, I think, think he could do pretty great. Both, I think they're both mutually <laughs> quite you know in sync on that. Um, Shout out. Anyway, anyway. No, but uh, I it could go either way. But regardless of what happens, Trump's going to say he won. Like, he's going to go out and he's going to be like... Oh, yeah. He's going to be like, about, I fucking like, won. That whole thing. That, yeah, that whole he's thing. Just going, oh, like, he's still... This, has he got on over it? Or does he still legitimately, <laughs> genuinely think he won the 2016... No, 20... So he... Was it? It, 2020 it's kind of fucked up because, like... He clearly knows he lost. And, like, sometimes he'll, like, let it slip. I don't know. Does he, though? Do you but, think, like, he knows? No, sometimes in, like, videos and stuff, he'll just let it slip by accident. He's like, oh, uh, 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 but he, I think he knows he lost. The problem is um, <coughs> that in order to keep up, like, the whole thing, he has to, like, continue saying that he didn't, you know? <laughs> Uh, so who knows? Um, I, but, uh, he, he made this weird reference at this rally he had yesterday where he was like, I've been cooking up something with the speaker of the house and it's coming along very nicely. And everyone's like, oh, he's just going to contest the election and then force it to go to the house to vote where Republicans have control. And then they're just going to be like, we award the election to Trump. Yep. We award it. We hand it over. It like it okay, sounds cool. like a crazy thing that no one would ever do, but also it did happen in American history like <laughs> like five years ago. Or uh five cycles ago. Wait, five cycles? What president was that? Like Bush Bush Jr.? B- Bush Gore. Uh the Supreme Court decided the outcome of the election. They were like, nah. Damn. Damn. Yeah, it was uh it was this whole fucking thing. It was a... Uh, Wait, you, you don't know... Well, I mean, I say... <laughs> I'm, tr- I'm trying to, like, gauge this as a person who lived through that. And I was realizing... Wait a minute. I was, like, a baby at the time. <laughs> like, I uh, I was not aware of that, clearly. But Well, you yeah. you aren't American. That's fine. Yeah, but, like, you were just like a child. Like, you're not going to really understand it. Yeah, that's true. I mean, a lot <laughs> of it is, like, learning it after the fact, because... No, I know. It's just the way you worded it sounded like, oh, yeah, it was like this big thing back in the it day. It was this like, big it was thing. The... It was a huge deal. Well, yeah, but I just feel like the... it sounded as if you were like, oh, yeah, you know, I was there. And I, I, I remember putting my 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 bottle down. <laughs> I was like, no, they hit the Pentagon. <laughs> Chugging breast milk like it's a cat of fucking Budweiser. Like, oh, yeah. rough day. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <sighs> No, um, it's gonna be cool. Maybe I will. Chat, would you show up for? Please uh, stream it, please. For, for Chat, the, tell the him, election tell... night stream, I would probably uh, like uh, me and Danny would try and get together and do it. Oh yeah, yeah. Make sure you like dress up and stuff. Yeah, I would dress up as my idol, Trump. Yeah, get some fake tan going and stuff. Cause Dye your gonna... hair. Dye your hair. Cause... Oh, because he has, because he has the, he's the orange Cheeto. Yeah, he's got like his. Oh, I have a UR guarantee. Let's go. Fuck, apparently it's my only UR. Oh, good. Two towers. That's what I wanted. Speaking of American politics. (laughs) My favorite (sighs) period in American history. That was your favorite period? Dog. Yes. That's fucked up. (laughs) Do you know how many people lost their lives? (laughs) What's the. 3,000? What's the joke? We lost 19 of our best guys that day. What's that from? I'm trying to remember. It's from like a movie. <laughs> Fuck. Is it? I thought it was just a random ass tweet, honestly. Mm-hmm. Aren't the informed uh, yeah, in the no. selection pack? Yeah, but I'm not opening that. Did you cover the um, the Madison rally at all in your freaks thing? Or did you talk <laughs> yeah, about it we at all? Did. Oh yeah, we did, baby. <laughs> dude. That shit was so like, good, dude. It's really funny, but also just like, wow, they're just being openly racist in in front of crowds of just tens of thousands like that's wow 
Oh, so oh, like, so no. now it's racist to say what we're all thinking. <laughs> what that an entire <laughs> state of America, America, by the way, is not a, a they're not a state. Of... They're not a state. What's the official terminology for Cuba? I don't know. A fucking a uh, uh, territory. I think. Right. Okay. So Cubans. It's not have, a state. Like, just... It's a colonial project. <laughs> so do Cubans just have like complete free open access to America or Cubans? Is there, like. No, we don't. Yeah. No, they, 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 right. they Puerto, Puerto Ricans, Puerto Ricans. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, I don't know why we're wasting time talking about this. You know, <coughs> it's probably fine. Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, we treat Puerto Rico very badly. <laughs> right. So they they aren't allowed to just go to America, despite the fact they're they can Americans? they can come and go in America. We just don't. You like, you do still need a passport. Hmm. Okay. Haven't they voted to be a state like twenty times or some shit? Well, it doesn't matter what they want, right? <laughs> I, was, okay, yeah, I think right. that's pretty clear at this point. It matters what I want. Yep. What is the other you are need to craft here? You know what? Yeah. So see, that's what made me doubt was like seeing that. Made um, you doubt what? Rally. That it would be like a Harris landslide. I just expected. Oh, uh... we've. Uh, yeah, I don't know how to uh, tell you this. I think everyone in America has been mentally preparing for a Trump landslide. What? No way. Yeah. If we've... if Trump wins, it'll be like close. It won't be a landslide. Uh. Well, sure. I. I mean. The the difference is. I you know I don't know how much that matters right. And yeah, ultimately, downside <sighs> or not, but yeah, it's it's still bizarre to me. I well, so you gotta understand, we all have this um this memory <laughs> of the other time we thought it was gonna be a landslide, and uh, it wasn't. Um, really? Did people think Hillary was gonna win? Yeah, no, we everyone was positive she was gonna win. And like hmm. all all the stupid fuckers who run like the whole polling gambit were like um they were calling it like an eighty percent chance to win. Everyone thought it was kind of a foregone conclusion. And then uh when it came back that it wasn't, it was like this huge upset. So much so that like a, a lot of Democrats like were like, I'm not accepting the results of this election, we need a recount and stuff. Um Hey, that sounds familiar. <laughs> yeah, right. You know, um, <clears throat> But no, it was it was bad, uh, and the polls this time, for instance, have been a lot tighter than they were that time. Like Hillary was up like ten points in a bunch of critical states, and here Kamala's got like a one point lead in places. Do you guys have what is known as um, exit polls or something on yeah, election night? We do. That's that's okay. where we get most of our information. Interesting. So uh, in the UK, in the most recent general election, <clears throat> it was mm -hmm. accurate to like one seat. Like it was like scarily accurate it was just like exactly as it played out essentially so what's the historical accuracy of those in america they're very accurate they're like really really close we again uh mm. like news sources use them to forecast and then like we'll call things based on exit polling a lot of the time interesting with one exception well <laughs> what was the exception Betting sites are predicting a Kamala win now. No, they're not. I'm going there now. <laughs> Stake.com. Okay, it's predicted says <laughs> 59 Trump. What are the other betting markets? Oh, here we go. Bet online. Has Trump at 63? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I would say probably I think that... Oh, RCP looks good now. When did they change their... Ugh, I don't like this. What the fuck? This is disgusting. It's like really well. It looks like correct now. I liked when it looked like a web 1.0 site. 
couldn't have used an older example. Some HTML. That's Web 1.0. Oh, is that what it's... Okay. Anyway, I, I am I am 100% certain Donald Trump will win. <laughs> <laughs> You're laughing! I'm, I'm being serious! No, 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 no. If I was a betting man, I would <laughs> probably bet against that. First female president, Ura. Well, I mean... There was another. Uh, it, it's it? crazy, though. It's it's like, yeah, if I had a nickel for each, like, center centrist uh, woman running on the Democratic ticket who did a rightward pivot for the general and picked a VP named Tim and then lost to exactly Donald Trump, then I'd have two nickels, which is weird. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Far I think a lot of people I, were. I, um, be there. I think a lot of people were excited about the uh, the Madison Square Garden rally just because it was like, oh, thank God something's finally going wrong for this asshole. It's weird, right? See when like super extremist type of things like that happen, it mm -hmm. ends up like emboldening the right, if anything. Yeah, you know, like that's that's the scary thing. It's like, oh, we do get to just say the quiet part out loud. And what's the repercussion? Apparently nothing. Like you get to just, you get a big platform in one of the most, probably the most famous arena on the planet. And you just get to call an entire nation of people trash. And what's the, what's the counter, what's the repercussion on that? Like nothing. It's, it's genuinely sad. Yeah. depressing stuff man well it's not like things are going much better in the uk anyway admittedly yeah like uh, I, well i thought wait what i thought um i thought labor won like a super majority like that means all your problems are fixed right yeah so the quote-unquote left-wing government won the election and they've been chipping away at our social services at our public spending bit little by little just today it came out that they um uh they're changing the bus fare cap from two pounds to like three pounds or something. Who is this going to affect? People who use buses. Who uses buses? The working class. Uh, yeah, who needs to use buses? Everyone, because of the climate goals and stuff for the planet, which is now at an irreversible level of damage. So yeah, just every single thing that you would expect from a left-wing government is just not happening. It's just the center-right government now, Wait, continuing the sense. same policies. What, why, why is that? <laughs> like, what specifically? But that, but what? No. <laughs> Which part? <laughs> that couldn't be true at all. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's part of it. Stop bringing me down. I'm sorry, Chant. Who else can I like talk politics with? Like, I got no one else to talk to about this stuff. You, you hop, like, hop at a DBG stream and be like, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Master Dual Grinder. How about, uh, what's the electrical, uh, electrical, what's the electoral goal? Three, 312, 285, what is it? What's the number? 270, 270. Two, 270, you gotta love to see it. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, I need the setup for this alley-oop here. <laughs> uh, did you know my prime minister did blackface? Trudeau? Doesn't he do blackface like every couple of years? There's like every couple of years. 400,000 pictures of that guy in different stages of blackface. <laughs> It rocks, dude. It's like every week they're like, and here's another party that he went to in college, and yep, he's dressed up like Aladdin again. Fuck, he just couldn't get enough of that costume. <laughs> Let me hear. I'm I'm pulling up 538. Let's see what 538 says. The problem in America is that our pollsters are all sports betters and not political scientists. Uh, they're all fucking... <laughs> you know, so... That's the best way to describe it. Actually. That's literally it. That's literally it. Uh, it says yeah, Trump cool. wins 54 times out of 100 in our simulation. Hmm. Oof. That's a majority. <laughs> Is that true, LOL? Yeah, I mean, I could talk about Nate Silver all day, but I think he's a fucking monster. <laughs> Is there a, a world where it isn't a, a party winning? Yes. Like, it, it is, is, can, it is you, can it ever draw or something? There is a map that is 269, 269. What happens in that case? 
then they kill them both. They put them both on the on a pedestal and they go, "All right, you failed to get 270 and they shoot them in the head." And then who would get power at that point? DB Grinder? Yeah, then we put DBG up there. <laughs> this is crazy, guys. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Does he still have a Palestine flag in the back of his videos? <laughs> I don't know. That was my favorite thing he ever did. And people were like, why are you doing that? He's like, well, uh, I money matched an Israeli guy and he ghosted me. <laughs> <laughs> was it Galzo specifically? Uh, I don't think it was Galzo. Okay. Oh, man. <laughs> Base DBG. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Let me, here, I'm Hello, clicking. guys. The DB Grindy. Hey, guys. The DB Grindy here. Video. Nah, he's moved his he's moved his setup. I don't like his blonde hair. What is it? Two two thousands for you? Yeah, it's crazy. DBG is like a perfect, like he's a very specific kind of guy that existed in like two thousand six, but he's just here. I don't know how he ended up here. <laughs> Could you describe this archetype in more detail for me? I gotta know more criteria for what that. Actually yeah, like entails. a midwestern guy who's like trying to do surfer lingo and really into new metal <laughs> you don't remember these people oh, yeah but i just i can't imagine db grinder listening to like fred durst and limp <laughs> we gotta figure out what dbg listens to it's gonna be eminem 100 percent. modern eminem doesn't really work on a guy like that does it maybe it does actually <laughs> hmm. he's a guy from 2012 i don't know i poof Maury Calliope, you know, you're talking about a different type of person. Just Midwest emo? Like, not remotely true. No. I don't know. These kids in my chat, they don't know nothing. ICP? Oh, if if DVG is down with the clown, then I take back everything I've ever said about the way he eats. He's Ooh, probably the healthiest D juggalo. DVG the juggalo. That I, was, I was trying to remember the word for it. Yeah, DVG juggalo. Juggalo arc. <laughs> Juggalo homies, homies. Can I, like, be honest? I used to genuinely love ICP when I was a kid. Yeah, that uh, that tracks. Really, that's crazy, though. <laughs> Did you ever I was go never into, carnival? like... Uh, no, I lived in Scotland. <laughs> <laughs> um, I didn't really know anything about anything other than music, though. Like, it was just very funny and edgy. Yeah, yeah, of like, course, that was yeah. it. But like you know, the but like apparently it's like a Christian cult. Mm. Well, cult's maybe a strong word. No, um, Jillian, uh, Jillian actually grew up in one of the like two or three places in America where juggalos are like a dangerous gang. Uh, dangerous? Are they dangerous? Yeah, they like. Uh, while she was growing up, there was this big high profile case where they killed someone. They like chopped him up and shit, and like it caused like a real schism in the community. Cause they chopped him up for being gay and it was like okay what? like yeah it was crazy and it was like okay that's probably not what the music's about <laughs> jeez that's like so extreme it was yeah and like a lot of people like left the the juggalos after that it's crazy because like i think the the two guys who are in the band are like we're just about having fun man <laughs> <laughs> I never really got, like, the Christian message and stuff from them. Like, it's not in really any of the music, is it? I don't know. Uh, the music is about... Nothing explicit. It's about loving yourself, which is Christians have a monopoly on that. Hmm, true. Yeah. All right, I'm going to play Infernoid now. Ew. Okay, enjoy. Bye. Bye. What a nice young man. <coughs> Ugh. Oh, uh, Ghost Trick Lantern's back. But we already have him. Give me Kage Tokage back. All right. We are playing a new deck. You know what time it is. I have teased playing Infernoid for like the last eight <laughs> streams. We are finally going to do it. This list isn't perfect. It's just there's so many URs. I don't want to craft them all. And uh, we are going to, of course, be using... Uh, as much ghost trick stuff as we can because I I want to. I, I want to Halloween it up. I want to be the Halloweener. <coughs> I 
Okay, now, before I get too into it, I do want to let you all know, yes, theoretically, we could be playing a Snake Eyes package. And in fact, it is probably correct to do so. Uh, but I'm not going to do so. And the reason I'm not going to do so is because if I play a Snake Eyes package and I do a Snake Eyes combo, everyone is going to be so mad that I'm playing Snake Eyes and not playing Infernoid right. You know what I'm saying? This ain't a bad hand. <clears throat> Let's get rid of this Deviati. Special out a Decatron. Uh, let's go Decatron Effectron. Who do we want to send? I kind of want the Monster Negate up. So let's send... Uh... Nah, let's not do that. Let's just send a guy. Any, any little guy. Let's go Ononku. All right, gate time. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Maybe I should go over here. I don't want you guys to miss any hot milling action. Cool, right? Yeah, that's... So anyone, uh... Anyone read any good books lately? Oh, we did it! Wait, we, we found one! Okay, what did we hit? We hit one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Nine guys. Ooh, and we can Void Feast turn one. That's crazy. Decatron. And let's chain this. <coughs> Target Void Feast. We're going to summon, uh, good, we can, um, Sajet, or you know what, actually, let's go Size Tomas and Decatron. And then the Decatron can send a, an Atondel, and this Decatron can send a Anonku. Why not? Now what? Well, we can do a lot of shit. Uh, I think we should Dark Fusion. <clears throat> dark Fusion send Evil. We'll use Piotti and Size Tomas. We'll go evil. <coughs> oh, God. I don't know what's still in my deck. Uh, apparently, it's only letting me do a six. So, I imagine there's not a ton. Uh, cool. Send Inferno Monsters with different names equal to the level. So, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. Jesus Christ. And then if this card is sent to the graveyard, add a void to our hand. All right, what do we want to do now? Um, I guess we just go into our random two here. <clears throat> like a do little chimera. This one is monster negation. Yeah. <coughs> uh, then we can grab a void. Uh, who? What do we want? I mean, feast isn't bad. Wait, did we mill our, our fire card? I think we did. Damn. Uh, we can grab Breach. Oh, we don't have a card to discard, so I think it is Breach. Imagination doesn't actually do anything, chat. Uh, let's go Breach. Let's go Promethean Princess. Uh, 
Right now, what do we want to do? Uh, we want a small guy. So this guy's two. Yeah, I think two is as small as it gets. Go princess. Oh, they have something! Shit, they have something! <coughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Uh-huh. <laughs> Easy. I'm liking this. I, I, I'm seeing how this could happen. Uh-oh. Wait, we have a problem. <coughs> so we don't have any non-engine here, really, so... Uh-oh. This is not a good hand. This hand is very bad. Let's head back up here for the time being. Yeah, I'm going to be honest. I don't think we're beating... Uh... Car destruction is going to go crazy against tier, though. I'm not going to lie. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. This sucks so bad, dude. We're, it's just like so much just sitting. Sitting and waiting. And waiting and sitting. <coughs> I'm going to change some of the cards in the deck after this. I've decided I do need that stupid fire guy we don't have yet. What the fuck? In in what world are we do garrisoning here?
Uh-huh. Yes. Huh? This is the end board? Okay, we might actually be able to do this. <clears throat> oh my god, unless all that set shit really matters. Wow, that's pretty good. Okay, let's normal the snow and target the Rukulos. <coughs> they simply won't hit anything. Okay, that's fine. Meta Noise. Oh, they hit like three important names. Tell me the Rhino Heart doesn't trigger. Oh, it doesn't. Okay. We can still do this. All right. Time to lock in. Do do. Do 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 do. Please don't stop me. Uh, okay. Don't say Decatron. Don't say Decatron. Don't you say Decatron? Fuck. <sighs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That's okay. Roll back. Oh, I gotta get me over here. Where are the monsters? Fuck! No! No, 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 no! Oh, son of a bitch. Okay, hold. We could still do this. Do-do! Do-do! Do! Do we go again? Don't ash this. Don't tell me I drew you into an ash. One for one. Anoku. Okay, now we got guys coming. A Tondel. Yeah. Decatron again. Fuck. <coughs> oh my god. Oh my god. They hit Mudora. Wait, I didn't even see that. <laughs> Get me out of here. Okay, hold up. Let me let me put in flame tongue. Ah, no, it's too much money. I'll just deal without. <coughs> I will simply win this coin toss. Did they just fucking make me go first? Fuck! Please don't shifter me. Please don't shifter me. I'm begging you not to shifter me. Please don't shifter me. It's a two. Please don't shifter me. Please do not have shifter in the opening hand. Please do not shifter me, dude. There's no reason to sit on this for this long. Either shifter me or don't, and please don't. Okay, they picked one. Thank God. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're getting monsters out here. Yeah, give me some more of those. Fuck! What? I gotta stop playing so many Decatrons, man. What the fuck? <clears throat> uh, okay, uh, fire recovery. Decatron. 
Uh, what do we send off Decatron? I don't really want any of these. <coughs> we have three in Grave. And it's Deviati, so... Uh, I guess Size Tomas. Okay, now we go SP Little Night Pass. We go do Little Chimera. We go Act on Dell. What's our end board? You're looking at it, buddy. <laughs> we go. We go Promethean. Flame Tongue came up. I know, I'm gonna have to craft him after this. No! Uh, bring back Decatron. See, we're doing something! Decatron effect. Okay, we're gonna have two, so any other medium one is fine. Let's send a Sujet. Uh, oh! We can fire recovery to draw one. Let's do that. Come on. <laughs> Pretty good. I'm not bad. Not bad. Uh <laughs> this, this card doesn't do anything, right? No, it does, because we'll have Sajet. Uh oh, we could get Sajet or Atondel. What do you think? Let's do let's do Atondel. Look at that! Yeah! <laughs> no! <laughs> oh, God. Uh, Go ahead! <laughs> okay, we're gonna go... Uh, Black Goat Laughs. Ugh, Chandra. Wait, what the fuck? <laughs> Wait, where's the Ugg Chandra? No, it's Striker! Ugh, <laughs> uh, fuck. Um, shit. Uh, Kagari? <clears throat> Dropple it? Fuck you. Oh, wait. <coughs> Damn, so the problem here is... All right, here's a cool fun fact you all are going to get to learn here. Droplet has to pick exactly the right number. So here, it can't. <coughs> Going Hayate, unsurprising. Now what? Grabbing Rose. Uh, Flood. I 
think we save this. Um, chain rose. That's okay. Okay, so we could also prom princess. I wonder if that's worth it. <sighs> no, I'm cool. <coughs> sure. Mm, that's annoying. What are they fucking trying to do here? I'm a little confused. <laughs> like, where are we? Where are we going from this? Are we making a rank four? Oh, we're making Zeke. We are making Zeke. Um, huh. Well, <coughs> I don't know. Um. Yeah, why not? Oh, do they have a call? Oh, they don't. Okay. Okay. Well, shit! I didn't think we were going to get to do that! <clears throat> Ooh, not what I wanted to see. Who can we special here? A Tondel. Who the fuck can we banish? Oh, the Deviati in hand. <coughs> Ugh. Well, I mean, I guess I'm still doing it. This seems bad. Shut the fuck up! I don't remember asking you a goddamn thing. This deck sucks. Wait, what, what do you want? <laughs> this deck is like if you ask the designers to make the worst deck possible that could still top and they succeeded in fold. Wow, you moron! This is the best Harpy's Feather Duster of my life! F fuck you! <laughs> Truth! Apocalypse! <laughs> oh my god, okay. <coughs> Holy! Wow, they're thinking. All right, time to use my brain power. Oh, that's a little too fast. That's too much brain power. Here we go. Reasoning. Level one selected. Oh, uh, yeah. Mill feast. Perfect. Uh, we haven't hit a fucking monster yet. Where are the monsters? Holy shit. <laughs> Come on. Deviati. Sujet. Another fucking feast. Premios. Petrulia. Oh, it's so goddamn over. 
Oh, it's so over. Another Deviant. Oh, no, no. A Harmadick. A P.I. Okay, I'm finding... I don't even know if we... A, a Snow. Perfect. It syncs to the music, too. Did you notice? <laughs> I'll target my Void Feast. Special my Decatron. Special my Decatron. Special my Sujet. Your deck's about as good <laughs> as a piece of shit. <laughs> just like Kaiba just has no concept of abstraction. Your deck isn't very strong. Shit, we don't have a Deviati to set. That's fine. I'll show you why they call me the Infernoid Pilot. What the fuck? <laughs> what, is, what is that? What the fuck? Uh, well, I mean, I, 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 we weren't able to... Yeah, that's fine. What the fuck? Why can't I banish a card on the field? <coughs> this this deck sucks. Okay, let's go. Attacked an opponent's monster. Sure. Uh, I'm I'm using this thrust, by the way. You know what? Fuck it. I'm not using this thrust. Nice droplet. More like a piss droplet. <laughs> nice droplet. And by that I mean nice piss. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <coughs> this is stupid. Why did I do it this way? I'm like really goddamn dumb the stupidest guy who ever lived um <sighs> okay thank god okay we really should we really should craft flame tongue anyway <clears throat> huh. curry photon All right, well, shockingly, this is a hand that needs to go second. No, I'm getting FTK'd. Is it worth sitting through this, do you think?
Okay. All right. Void imagination. Yeah. Wins chili. You know, we were actually like four seconds away from chili. In fact, you know what? Let's just go get chili. still not done doing this what the fuck how is it taking them this long to do are you kidding me fucking hell <sighs> i get the 37 minute people after this i get them i understand Should have said Albaz. Yeah, he would do it. He would do it here. <clears throat> Can we win a die roll, though? Nope. Ugh. Oh, this hand is so good. Oh, no. Let's listen to some uh, some tunes while we're waiting. <clears throat> I think this will wake us all up, which I think we all need. I feel so scared, buddy. We literally won. Okay, all right. Next up. <coughs> Who's next in line for me to infernoid on? Cret Mao. Can I please win a fucking die roll? This deck does not play well going second. Please. <clears throat> Two games, zero effects resolved, one, one. Nope, we won the first game while resolving nothing too. This hand is legitimately only good going second, so thank goodness we lost the die roll. It's Sprite. Can we get some Inside Out versus Digital Circus? Thank you so much for asking that. Of course we can. He said, I want a pizza, but it's not fair. 
Okay, so if they negate Void Imagination, we just die. I hate this game so much, dude. I hate this is still legal. Only format where this guy's at three. Hi. Hey. I heard something really important. Yes. So I saw what looked like a really bright star. And I was like, it's probably a satellite. So I use a little app to show me where the, the stars are. Uh -huh. It's Jupiter! Whoa. It's so bright! You know I have to go there, right? Yeah, to get more stupider. Yeah. That's why I say I went to college, to get more knowledge. Mm. But Jupiter's my favorite planet! See, I always thought it was fucked up that boys have to go to Jupiter to get more stupider. But where do girls go? They go to college? To they should. They should go to another planet. Why? Why is only one person going to a planet? This is this is why you gotta go. Sure. You don't understand. Venus? What? No. Boys go to Venus to suck more penis. No. <laughs> Inside Out versus Digital Circus. Anyway, it's really cool. It's so bright. I'll go to see Jupiter then. <clears throat> How was Sadie? Was she the star of the show? When? When you went to college to get more knowledge? Oh, yeah. Everyone, Sadie did come to college today, and she did get more knowledge. Um, she had a nice time. We mostly just chilled and did some work. She had a good time. How's stream? Bad. Oh my god, wait, what the fuck? Why are they letting this resolve? Huh? I'm Okay, okay, hold up. <laughs> well <laughs> well I didn't I'm a little confused. Um Oh my god. Uh how many can I send? Up to six from the deck. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And I think I'm okay with this guy. Hi. You want to put more paws on her? She's the pawing girl. <laughs> Tierra effect? Now, what are they going to do, right? Like, they have to stop this. <clears throat> Okay, uh... Right, okay, bye. <coughs> Would you guys ever get a second dog? Maybe when Sadie dies. She likes being a one dog. Well, shockingly, we, we might be able to do this, I feel. <clears throat> what the fuck? Why are they letting me do this? I, you have to negate this effect. But I don't think they'll be able to. Are they saving Carrot for imagination? No, they're not! I already used imagination! Uh, okay. Um... <clears throat> I think I probably do a Nonku here, right? Yeah. 
They care at the monster gate and we lose? No. They're not going to do that. SP? Sure. Target herself and what? One of my guys? Mm hmm. All right. Evil. Who do we grab? Um, hmm. <clears throat> I guess Vanishment. Like Vanishment, Pitch, Black Olaps. Go a Tondel here. They have drawn a lot of cards off Maxi, though. Uh, we had this monster gate has to has to work. Desires, Deviati, that's a big one. Thrust, rollback, that's a big one. Snow, no, it's not bad. We can go a Tondel. Plus snow for... Oh, you know what's coming up is that stupid fucking card again. I think we just go combat here, regrettably. Flame Tongue would be good here, unfortunately. <coughs> Although, of course, yeah, we always have this. Uh, that's actually that's actually very good for us. Um, <coughs> um. I guess I don't want my deck banished. Let's banish the Mascarena here. I guess we just have to hope that, like, they don't have a second Ash Blossom. It seems pretty unlikely that they wouldn't have a second Ash Blossom. Ash is once per turn. Yeah, we're about to pass. Um... <clears throat> Mm. Forgot he was coming back. I mean, I guess we'll do this. They're definitely going for Fountain here. Oh, no, we're just going main. Uh, I guess we'll go Void Feast and just hope they don't have Ash. <clears throat> they have a Maxi. Listen, this is very okay. Um, sure. Sure. 
Uh, one. Two. Three. I guess we want the monster negate, right? I wonder if you SP one of these. Freezing curses target Decatron. Go Sujet, target the Decatron that's being targeted. Uh, banish... One of the runic spells. <clears throat> We're trying out here. Banish the Sujet. Am I missing something? Yeah, for sure. Called by. Mm. I was. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. <clears throat> Huge chain. Tell me about it. This is a big one. That chili looks incredible. It is. <coughs> it's so good. We got to CL7 there. Uh, we'll send... I think we want to send a Nonku to the graveyard, right? Yeah, because we want to stop the activation of that fountain. Uh... What the fuck? What's resolving here? The other Anonku? Oh, fuck. I don't know which one. Oh, it's the one that's in the grave. Let's, let's do Deviati for that one that no longer exists. <coughs> Okay, so they have Fountain first. Uh, we have to say no to our trigger effect, right? So we go this. Tribute Snow. To banish the Fountain. Oh my god! New Chain. We go transaction rollback. Target void feast. We are T-R-Y-I-N-G out here. We will summon Sajet Premios Premios. Then we'll go God. Snow. One, two, three, four, five. This is annoying. Six, seven. No, you know what? Actually, fuck snow. Oh, we can't not fuck snow now. Damn. We're all in. <clears throat> then we'll go snow effect on field. Tuck the blue and hope this is enough. Normal red. That's good. God, I wish we had one more Book of Moon effect. They go gigantic here? Why are they going gigantic? Okay, five seconds to do this. No! I wasn't typing! That's so not fair! We were so in it! Ugh.
Lost another die roll, and they force us to go first. You know how you know how it is. Uh, this is not a bad hand. Um, Deca. Good. That's a good that we don't have to worry about that card. Petrula's one, right? From your hand or graveyard? Cool. Vanishment effect. Pitch Sujet. Uh, Sujet is two, yeah. <clears throat> we could grab Imagination here. Grab Imagination for, si for three... Off flood, is that enough? Yeah, I think so. Evil is so crazy. I can't believe how good this card is. We get to send six guys here. Like, what the fuck? One. A two. A three. A four. A five. And a six. The problem is... Your hand or graveyard. I have no way of getting evil into the graveyard here. <clears throat> if only there was a Noid Link 2. We only have the Noid Link 4. We could go like... Size Tomas for the board wipe, or Ononku for the board wipe. That's probably worth... What locks you in this deck? Vanishment. <coughs> I mean, this is not bad. Feast, droplet. Like, I I feel pretty good about this, personally. Unfortunately, the sequencing works out kind of fucked because... Uh, here, hold up. Oh, they're holding and draw. There we go. Don't you ash this. Okay, thank God. Um... Okay, Decatron, Decatron. Uh, we'll send Deviati <coughs> and Anonku. How come you all are saying send little ones? What does sending little ones do? They can't be summoned from the grave. So it's just sending them to have them. Are these hard onces? No. Uh... They're not. I guess we'll I guess we'll contest that. Mm-hmm. As expected. Good news is it's banished. That's, like, pretty nice. Don't you fucking do it. Okay, if they have two Kai men, we do lose here. Oh, yeah! Yes! <laughs> 
Oh. Wait. Fuck. By leaving the Anonku up, we put ourselves in a pickle. <laughs> Wait, we were supposed to send the Anonku and leave the Sajet. No! <coughs> no! Oh wait, this is okay, wait. We're always doing this. That had to be the rip. That had to be the rip. Fuck. <laughs> Please stop. <laughs> okay, unfortunately the last card in their hand could conceivably be Ugg Chandra. And that would literally beat us. Okay, thank God. <coughs> now we win. That's interesting. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, we have a ton of guys in here. Um, let's start with an easy one. Let's go Sujet. Let's go evil. Grab a void. Uh, I guess we grab breach. <clears throat> uh, let's go for another little one. How about Saitamas? You know what would be crazy here, regrettably? <coughs> Is a uh, flame tongue. <laughs> flame tongue would be pretty nice. Oh, uh, Hita. Hita works. Princess, special Decatron, Decatron, <coughs> send Deviati, I suppose, Flood, uh, Anonku, no. Uh, Deviati. Oh, it's going to be Atondel, actually, right? Atondel. Uh, I think I actually need him to stick around. <laughs> and then Deviati. Breach. <clears throat> Woohoo! <coughs> See, we're we're doing stuff. All right, I got one more in me. We've gone one and seven in die rolls. Surely we're due for a die roll win. Let's go, baby! Link climb with the low level noids. What is with you people? The low level noids just sit, they don't do anything. Oh, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, we can do so much with this. Oh, fuck. We can do a lot with this. All right, let's go Decatron call monster. Kind of sucks to send Deviati here, but it is what it is. <coughs> uh, let's go... Vanishment for Imagination. 
kind of want to just lead Monster Gate. I just believe in myself. Yeah, baby. That's what I'm fucking talking about. More of that, please. Fuck. That was actually not very many at all. Imagination. Uh, and I want to keep this card in my hand for reasons that will become apparent later. Evil. Banish. Oh, we can banish nine! Okay. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Could have gone for ten, but I want to keep a deck in deck. <coughs> well, this is insane. Um, Let's go for a little guy. You know who would actually be crazy here? Not Flame Tongue. Oh, that was stupid. They don't have anything in Grave. Fuck, I'm dumb. All right, that's fine. Damn, I feel really stupid now. <laughs> All right, go. <laughs> okay, I need you not to ash this, please. No! Okay, thank God. Shit, we don't even have a Deviati in rotation. Okay, we, we may have fucked this up. Boy, imagination is bad. Okay. What the fuck was that? No.
This was over the second I acquired soup. <clears throat> Alright, I got one more in me. Yeah, now we're getting our coin flip wins! <clears throat> Finally! The coin flips! Uh, this hand doesn't do anything. You know what would be crazy in this hand, regrettably? You know what would be really good? Oh, you know what? Nothing, because we're ending our turn right here. I'd like to see you beat my one negate. Shit, they're gonna beat our one negate. <clears throat> Amethyst cat. Oh no. Oh no, no, no. Oh no. I bet they put the cat back. Okay, this is just going to have to work. Okay. Absolutely. Oh, well, we didn't put the cat back! We said we need the cat. The cat's about to go crazy. Am I taking six here? What the fuck? <coughs> Alright, I don't know what we're doing from this position. We have to draw like a power spell, but we could easily still win this. Okay, come on, baby. I have like 90 power spells in here. That is one of them. That's one of them. Thank you. Uh, oh, we can Deviati? That's crazy. Oh, with our entire hand. That's all right. Um, let's pitch Jet. Let's summon Decatron. Decatron Effectron. We're going to call Monster here to try and force out a hand trap, but it looks like they have nothing. Maybe they're just toggling, but... Uh, I, I will not play it, or I'll play it safe. I, or will I? Or will I at all? Why can't I throw in Homodeck? Oh, because it's not under eight. I see. Should have led that. One. Oh my god, transaction rollback. Dark Fusion. Petrulia. Anonku. The Void Breach. Anonku. A Pot of Desires. Another Monster Gate. A Car Destruction. A vanishment. Can we get a good trap here? A piatti. A called by. A thrust. A thrust. A void feast. Oh, we're chilling. Another transaction rollback. A deviati. An anonku. An atandel. Oh, this is as good as it's ever been, baby. That grass. Another vanishment. An imagination. A triple tack. A monster gate. <laughs> Dark fusion. Where's the where are the fucking monsters? Primios. Uh, reasoning. Twenty two cards in deck. Uh, another Primios. We're down to twenty. Uh, triple. <laughs> okay, Decatron. 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 Oh my god. Uh, fuck. Um. Okay, because of the way this works, we have to Decatron chain rollback. <coughs> Uh, 
Uh, oh. <laughs> We're kind of out of guys, apparently. <laughs> Decatron summon... I don't know. We'll send size to Moss. Uh, okay. Um, does this card protect them at all? No. Cool. Um... Hmm. How do I want to do this? Do they have a fire in there? No. <coughs> okay, put this guy back in your hand, asshole. Hey! Woo! That's that's a hell of an effect. Uh, okay. Let's go... Fire Charmer... Bring out the homodic. Banishing one of the little guys. <coughs> Promethean. Promethean summon back. Decatron, right? Or actually, uh, Hita makes the most sense. It's a guy without a level. We go Flood. A Tondel. <coughs> and here's a game one called Flood. Banish this fucking guy. And finally, Deviati. Whew. Damn. Sometimes you play this deck and you're like, this is the best deck in history. Nothing comes close. And sometimes you play this deck and you're like, this deck is piss. It's so bad. Wait, does this fucking guy have to send it? Okay, thank God they let it send to the graveyard. Because if they put it in the back row, I wouldn't get the double attack. <laughs> oh, man. I forgot that cards used to have restrictions on them. Uh, thankfully, we've mostly done away with that. Oh, that's what I like to see. That is an Infernoid victory. All right, let's quit while we're ahead. <coughs> Oh, it's our rank up, though. Ah, it's our rank up, dude. Oh, but our rank up. Okay, 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 okay. Is we got to do the rank up. We got to do the rank up. <coughs> oh. This hand is not bad. This hand is not bad. Our opponent sets up something. They go for it. We forbidden droplet to negate it. Then we thrust. Oh, my God. <coughs> we thrust for that grass. Bro, what the fuck? We're playing good cards? No, that's not allowed. Hold up. You're not allowed to do that. All right, while our, our opponent sets up, let's listen to the rest of Inside Out 2 versus the Amazing Digital Circus. What the fuck was this turn? What what on what the fuck was this turn? Wait, did they end on zero points of interaction? What the fuck? What what is going on? Okay, um, <clears throat> I think I have to try to go to battle to force out the, uh, the Mascarena.
If they call my bluff on this, we are like fucked. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Oh, I get it. I understand what's going on here. Yeah, for sure. Okay, well, I have to kill them here, right? Oh, we have to send a trap so they can't use Phalanx to be cute. Betting it all on thrust. If they show me an ash blossom, I do lose on the spot. That's the problem. It's it's thrust into uh into uh the grass. And they're down to how are they at 35 in deck? What the fuck? How many cards was this? It was all extra? Oh, okay. Curry Kara Div Incarnate. Okay, here we go. Phalanx. Oh. I see what's going to happen. All right, buddy. Here we go. Come on. Yeah. 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 Those looked pretty good. Okay. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven guys in grave. We have rollback, but what can we roll back? We did not really hit a good rollback target. We can roll back. Nothing, really. <coughs> uh, what happens if we go Deviati? Deviati blow up the board. Let's them specially link three. They will special the Mascarena. You can still Black Goat? For what? There's no reason to Black Goat right now. <clears throat> oh, Deviati spell traps. We didn't hit a Nonku? Holy fuck. Oh my god. Wait, this sucks. Are we losing? Probably. You know who would be good right here? Oh, Promethean is kind of a weird choice. <clears throat> um, sure.
Oh. We could roll back target. Oh, except from the graveyard. Never mind. Uh, we can go size Tomas. These two. Oh, we actually have a fun line. <clears throat> uh, snow. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's keep the uh, the vanishment in grave. Bell. Uh, not for nothing. I think we should have used Bell somewhere else. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right. <clears throat> that was cool. Do we want to flip down the Oxilla? Flipping down the Oxilla makes the stand-up Centurion lie uh, dead to the Deviati. I think so. It just makes it kind of hard to get rid of. <sighs> nah. It's already negated. Stand up Centurion has another effect. Okay, Hita would have been a good card to Bell. <clears throat> this is funny, if nothing else. Uh <clears throat> should have got Snash for a search. Oh shit, you're right. No, I want to move this guy back so I don't have to worry about him. Uh, we can go... Special Size Tomas. Banish 2. Flood. Is that worth? If we're doing that, we want to also Prom Princess. Yeah. <clears throat> oh god, we're almost out of time already! Send a Nonku here. We could have Nonku wiped the board, but that doesn't do anything, right? Uh, let's go... Flood. Oh, we should have said, sent Atondel. That was really not correct. Atondel could have actually done something. Uh, let's summon Size Tomas. Go one, two. Are we one shy of doing both? Fucking hell. Yeah, I think we are. Flood. Banish Princess. Yeah. <coughs> Ling Karibo. Ooh, I didn't even think about that. Yeah, that's pretty good. Uh... This is good for us. We can eat the board and summon Deviati, but then we have to, like, fucking pass.
Oh, 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 my God. Oh, 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 okay. I mean, I think we're still dead here. Um, what do they target? Oxilla? That's fine. That's okay. Probably not worth deviating. <clears throat> Another stand up. See, yeah, that's completely okay. What? Oh, fuck. I did not even realize that. Droplet. How many are we sending? Sending two? That's fine. <coughs> Dej. Uh, the comedy here is that we're very much alive. J Come on. <clears throat> they got to put something. Red supernova. All right, well, kill me if you can. I got nothing left. <coughs> I imagine they can. I would be, what the, what the fuck? <laughs> Wanted. Well, we knew it was wanted because the fucking bond, the OSS is still in grave. <coughs> Why not OSS before? Good question. I have to call Oak here. I have no option. Okay. <sighs> Damn. Okay, uh, quit while you're ahead. That's my message to all of you nascent gamblers. Yeah, it's gay lawyer time. <coughs> Thank you all for stopping by. Had a gay old time here today. If you like what you see, could you please follow the channel? We are trying to get to 100,000 followers by the end of the year. We are not going to make it, but we're trying regardless. And you know what? If you liked it, not only don't, don't just subscribe to the stream. Tell your friends to subscribe. You know, purchase bots to subscribe. You know how it works. Anyway, um, I am uh, now going to... Uh, a cool down as we do on Monday and Wednesday by playing a little bit of variety and uh, good news for you um, it's still uh, fucking ace attorney time oh you want to see this yeah we'll, we'll look at this thank you let's let's close on this this is from at America
What the fuck? Is the future of America about understanding gush tactics and strategies? I'm pretty sure. Hold up. <laughs> I'm just kidding. This is a very famous painting that they used for the cover of Understanding Gush. This action, I think, is going to decide uh, the fate of America and the fate of Western civilization. Oh, it's so funny to be like, yeah, we got to energize the people. Put the fucking Metal Gear Solid song on the epic ad. And then we cut to Elon Musk. Oh, so that's all. Decide to kill the next president of the United States. Oh, hell yeah, dude. The the deep fake <laughs> Donald Trump in gladiatorial robes is going to be the difference maker. Oh, no. Oh, man, Hillary. Oh, she's she's going to get owned. Oh, dude, this is so epic. I love that clip because he fucks up ripping it. A lot of Elon in this, I gotta say. Damn. If you try to... Some, like, gay 14-year-old Nazi went fucking hard on this edit. Kill our citizens. We will kill you. <laughs> Come on, dude! There's no way you're putting attack on Titan in this fucking ad, dude. Oh my god. I think Elon is gonna lose it for him. Holy shit. If he loses, it will be Elon's fault. If you spill a drop of American blood, we will spill a gallon of yours. If you come back, we're gonna kill you. We're gonna give you the death penalty or kill you. The fact is, and I'll say it now, you have to get him the hell out. You have to get him out. Is Dr. Manhattan and you didn't even use the, the Zack Snyder cut with the penis out? <laughs> this is so good. Oh, God. I really don't like the look of that guy. We will make America great again. Oh, man. Hit him with the lion roar. Is that the fucking Challenger explosion? <laughs> This is like the shittiest ad I've ever seen. I'm so happy you sent me this. This, oh man, this, wow. Imagine like, wow. Imagine watching this video and being like, I'm going to commit voter fraud for Trump. I have to. Like, I wasn't going to, and then I saw this. Fate of America. I had, now I have to. I wasn't going to, I wasn't going to vote Trump. And then I saw, uh, I saw Trump as Dr. Manhattan, and I thought, shit, I gotta. I wasn't gonna vote Trump, but then I saw Attack on Titan. <laughs> With the Trump head just barely superimposed, because it's a scene where he's going so fast. Damn. This is gonna go crazy for 14-year-olds.